This is the story of an unfortunate soul who has found themselves in one of the deepest and darkest slums known to man. A slum called Callis Row. Things weren't always this way, however. This man used to be an upstanding citizen within the Galactic Union. A naval officer, actually. But see, eventually greed destroys all. And the Galactic Union found its political power being siphoned away by these mega corporations that had once brought influxes of money and trade, now only thrived on power and control. The GU ignored this for a long time, as long as it could, until these mega corporations were found out to be creating slave colonies. As soon as this was found out, the GU went to war with the corporations, and subsequently, they lost. Now the GU is just a puppet state, and the citizens and people that live under it, well, their lives are terrible to say the least. But this particular person goes by the name of Gregor Locke Brunswick, a former naval officer disgraced and labeled a war criminal, in hiding this slum of Callis Row. This that you're about to see is his story. Anyways, thank you all for showing up on such short notice. I know this place can be a bit confusing at first, but don't worry about it. You'll get used to it soon enough. Now tell me, is it all of your first time in Callis Row? Oh, yeah. I say so, yes. Wow. Yeah, I've never been in this center at all. Junker, who are these losers crowding up the lobby? Hey, I gotta get out to my job if you could please just clear the way just a tad. I don't know what else to tell you! Thanks. Sorry, excuse her! Yeah, also, what happened to your legs? Excuse. They're fixed. Isn't that exciting? Hmm. Okay! I won't pursue her like any her. further! She's terrifying! Don't worry, you'll get used to her! Anyways, please, introduce yourselves! Because I'll go. Well, I'll for the right. Uh, it doesn't matter which. Just say your name. Tell me what you are. Well, my name's Nash Quinn. That's about all you need to know. Mysterious. I like it. And you? I'm Mia. That's just it. <laughs> Perfect. Sure you think? What about you? Rather simple. Go by the name Locke. Perfect. I Forget all of your names shortly. <laughs> and you! You can call me Giovanni. True thing! Well, now that we got her, little introductions out of the way, I'd be happy to give you a tour if you'd like it! Hey man, well. I don't know about you, but I think that cat's talking. Is this really that out of Anybody else right seen that? You realize you're talking to a complete robot, right? Hey, I mean, I'm Fair enough, human, I'm from down like, south. That's kind of offensive. <clears throat> well, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean it that way. All kinds of crazy people, of all sorts of races. It's a little concerning at first, but you'll get used to it. Trust me. Now, I guess we're going to start the tour now, but I do have one last question as we walk over there. Why did you come here? Of all the places, Callis Row? It seemed like a nice little place out of the way. I'm You're right, sure you're beginning. You, but I apologize in advance. It's got a you interesting saying? smell. Mm. New life, open. new beginnings. Unfortunately, you won't find many beginnings here. In fact, most people consider Callus Road to be rock bottom. So unfortunately for you, make your dreams be crushed and your hope be swallowed. <laughs> Please follow me down the Is it toxic, small, dangerous? The smog is not dangerous. As far as we know, we haven't really checked it for being completely honest. Oh. Good, I don't want to grow another arm. Hey, what's going on? We got another bunch of newcomers, unfortunately for them. Yeah, you know, that's that's, that seems pretty nice. If you ever need a ride, 
Yeah, we, we're open. Keep that in mind. Yeah, we're the same. Uh, like, I hear you. Fucking, wait, he's dead? I'm literally talking. I know. I just haven't seen him since the court break. Yeah, why'd you call it a mistake? No. Yeah, I think he's done. Just a drifter. Okay. Exactly. You have my respect. Thank you. You have mine as well. Uh, at some point, I'd love to speak to you again. That man has some big muscles. You can understand. I don't want to tussle with a fellow like that. Oh no, I'm he had a mustache. This is Callus Row, where we make levity and poverty feel like paradise. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a G1D3 B0 T unit, produced and abandoned by the Sanity Megacorp. I'm our town's resident tour guide and the owner of the hotel. If it's a place you gotta go, I'm the one in the know. Now, before we get beginning here, any questions from any of you? I, where do I go if I've got to use a little cowboy's room? Well, there's plenty of places. Most of the restaurants here actually have restrooms. Just go in and let the SD use them. Alright, nice. Now, do any of you have a place arranged to stay so far? Not uh, yet. No. Really... Can't say that I have, no. If you wouldn't mind, please show me your cards. I want to see what kind of incomes we're working on here. Mine's right here. <clears throat> she, uh, funny story. I was walking to the hotel and uh, this little mm -hmm. restroom thing like jumped up and punched me and stole my card. I think I might have to get a new one. You, you my friend, are screwed. Pretty much everything here runs off the cards. You, you, you might want to get that taken care of. Well, I'm sure I'll survive without it. I'm sure you'll find a way. Oh, please! Sorry, I didn't see you holding it! <clears throat> we have a special stop to go for you! Don't worry, that'll be far later in the future! Anyways, this is Elevator Plaza! I'm sure you've all been here before, given that this is the way you came in. As intimidating as it looks, I'm sure you've already been plenty acquainted with it. So we'll move on! Now, in terms of housing, yeah. Actually, one of the first locations you could stay. This is our medium tier apartments. You can purchase these at the bank. Now, I'm assuming that none of you really have the income to do this, and or an actual stable job here. So, I'd like to assume that none of you will be able to actually live here for a long time. Mm. Moving on. <sighs> Maintains this check behind there. curiosity. Pretty much the corporations. They keep us stuck down here. Not hmm. much we can do about it. Let's see. Why do they keep you guys down here? Well, you see, we're kind of a bottle of the barrel. Unfortunately for a lot of most of us, we all have our own little quirks and issues that have made us, well, irrelevant to the people upstairs. I assure you've heard of all the great corporations and all the terrible things they do. Well, we're the people they do those terrible things to. Welcome! Happy to have you here! <laughs> now, uh, any other questions? Notice if I destroyed a couple of cameras? They 100% would notice, and it would most likely send someone to kill you! I'll keep that in mind. Perfect! Well, if we have no further questions about the top floor, we can move on! Or did you have one? You did raise your hand after all! I'm... Uh... I'm not really yet. I'm just a little... I'm not used to this. <laughs> well, what are you used to? Uh... I don't know. Not being... It's kind of dirty here. I don't usually get to wear shoes, but... Unfortunately for us, the Sweetens don't do a really good job cleaning! They come every night, and, well, they're pretty deadly, so make sure when you hear the alarm, you go inside. 
Or they close this place again. Either way. That means they can as use a... custodial staff. I mean, has that happened recently or often? What the sleep is killing someone or the sleep is coming? The alarm. Either. Or. The alarm happens pretty much every night. The corporation send out the sleep bus to do street cleaning, as they call it. But in reality, the streets don't really get clean. I'm pretty sure they're just out there to monitor us, sort of like a curfew. <laughs> Interesting. Perfect. Moving on. Now, don't mind the pretty pictures they paint here. The corporations are great, and we love them. I not quite the vibe I'm getting from that, but all right. made this for me. Tuned up, you come on down. Right. Oh, I hear you. Have nice headphones, partner. Thanks. Well, fucking good luck on your turn, you bucket of bolts. Thank you, and my name's Guy Fun, though I know you know that. <laughs> hey, the citizens don't like you, do they? Hello. What do you mean? They all love me. How's it going, coach? Howdy. I'm just getting some newbies here to tour. Bunch of new faces. A bunch mm. of people to populate this hellhole. Well, it's nice to meet all of you. Very uh, distinguished people. Very diverse as well. I'm the Coach Eric, the mayor here of uh, Callis Row. <gasps> You're the mayor? Oh my god. <laughs> That's kind of cool. <laughs> he likes the I think she likes mayors. I don't know. I've um, never met a mayor before. The only one. Yeah, you're the only one. If you don't mind, we have a tour to get to. Go for it, please. If you guys need anything, hey, come on, on drop me a line. Bucket. Thank you. Anyways. Welcome to Callis Row. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, anyways, Thank you man. Coach. Don't die. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. What? Don't feel free to interrupt as much as you want. Oh, great. <laughs> Good guy, bro. Another one without shoes. Just say don't do anyway, it's unfortunate. The clinic doesn't work for free. And frankly, neither does anyone sure, here. Exactly. Which is what brings us to our next stop. Look We're big. Now, you lot look like an intelligent folks. Uh, so I'm sure good. you know how to bake off rates. But I highly recommend opening an account before you stay. Now, <clears throat> it's best to be better tomorrow one. if you live that long. Any right. questions? Uh, why do you keep referencing death? What do you mean, referencing death? Death is a part of every day here! Oh, no. And it's natural! Or not. Depends on the circumstances! Okay. It's okay, Ken. You got nine lives, don't you? Yes! Whether they require to register an account here. I'm pretty sure you just need an ID card! I'm sorry, I was kind of pissed though. So, the circumstances might have changed here! So you might want to ask right. yourself, if you'd like to take a long step inside, I'd be more than happy to put it on pause for you. No, let's continue with the tour. No problem. Now, I'm not sure if you can access it right now, but if you go to the elevator on the left, you'll find yourself at Nirvana, a medicinal and recreational drugstore. They can provide you with some over-the-counter medications that'll either highly improve or 
are highly crash your day. <clears throat> Why convert to Buddhism to find Nirvana when you can just take an elevator? Nirvana, the cause and solution to your nightly hangover. Anyways, any questions? No. Right, Do we now. need a card to access that? You don't need a card to access most everything, which is why I said you're screwed. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. We'll go down to the most popular layer of Calstro. <laughs> okay. Now, think that the sexy or the magic habits. Pretty much most of anything and everything you can need is contained within this level here. I don't exactly uh, eat, so I don't ask for food. Enjoy. Uh, damp chocolate. That's a very so fair point. Yeah, I mean, hey, go ahead and ask. Do you guys have brownies, you guys? Um, no, not right now. We have cake, little cupcakes that are smushed like that. Sure. We have waffles. We have cake with a lot of cake. We have uh, popsicles. Mm. Unfortunately, a little Probably mushroom thing much. punched me and you stole my car, but when I get a new one, I'm going to be spending a lot of time here. It's wonderful to meet yeah. you. I'm new here. My name's Nat. Nice to meet you. I hope to see you around when I got my car. Nice to meet you. Uh, awesome. Yeah, yeah, you have a right wonderful day. Hopefully you have a hand. I know you want a sweet tooth. Nope. I love brownies. <laughs> Nothing else really, but brownies. You strike me as a meat and potatoes kind of Nice Bean potatoes are great, but brownies are everything. They're gooey in the middle and can be crispy on the outside, and they're perfect in every way. And you can put. You can put special herbs in it, and then you're just gone for days. So it's not so much the brownies you love, it's the versatility, I suppose. 
Is your sign say power? I mean, the brownies are good, yeah. but... Uh -huh. It's the herbs that make them? But they're good herbs. Um, it's very good herbs. Sure. I have my own brownie uh, recipe. Really? Uh, the, the, the tiny I'm expecting to see yeah. you in here in no time, then. Yeah, yeah it's a very... I don't have any nuts. I hate nuts. Uh, <laughs> is it, is it an one, allergy? No, I just don't like nuts. <laughs> Fair enough. Idle conversation. They're crunchy and weird. What a coincidence. Buy me something, would you? You oh, have a uh, What's your favorite food, you? mister? Favorite food? Oh. I think I gave that away with the yeah. whole steak and potatoes thing. I don't have much of a sweet tooth myself. There you go. There we go. Oh, hey, Pipsqueak. Thank you so much. Steak and potatoes? Is that all you eat? I'll see you guys <laughs> No, but nothing beats a good a happy, steak with some sauteed mushroom and onion. Go. Beth, oh, thank you. I always appreciate it. What about it? You know what? A little bit of money spent on your best friend. Uh, I kind right? of have to be in the mood uh -huh. for that. It's the texture. Sometimes it just rubs me the wrong way. Hmm? Yeah, looks like the tour's moving. What is it with people not wearing shoes around here? Excuse me. Uh, I mean, I know people. Me. If you need recycled stuff, go across the street right. to a Howard's place. Thank you. I don't know where those have been. Okay, you're probably picking up all sorts of disgusting grime between your toes. <sighs> Surprise is a place like that. Hmm? Let's see. One, two. How many maids again? There's three. Where's four? The other one's inside the store. I'm surprised is a place that looked semblance of clean around here. Outside, so behind me. I mean, the shop is pretty clean. Well, no, that's what I was saying. I was surprised. That was about it. Next up here is the convenience shop. Now, not much needs to be said for a shop such as this, but it's pretty much got any basic thing you'd need. As well as some delicious slushies. Or, at least I'm told they're delicious. I can't have you taste. They're open too. If you'd like to introduce yourself shortly, feel free. <laughs> Sure. Fun. Oh, they got bananas. They also Welcome. Got yeah, 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 yeah. Can I get any, any, any uh, fruit? Sorry, it's all uh, well on the smaller I mean, side. I don't have money. Okay. Uh, or a toaster. Well, you see, Maybe I'm interested. this little mushroom thing yeah, punched me and stole my card, but once I get another one, I'm sure to come here and buy okay. some chocolate right. bars from me. <clears throat> oh, sure, sure, of course. I, I, I you with money? Do you have money? I am a little bit, but I'm just here to introduce myself. My name is Giovanni. We're new here. Oh, no. Ah, yes. Giovanni. It seems your guide Bart felt we should introduce ourselves. Name is Locke. Nice to meet you. Locke and no money. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm eight. Nice to meet you guys. And you as well, eh? Mm. They have frozen pizza. Oh, and it's uh, pizza, but it's frozen. what's your name? Uh, I'm Nia. That's, that's not something uh, new. Yeah. I don't I don't have money right now, but I might have some later, so I'll come back later. Sure, yeah, as soon as, as, soon as you do, swing back by. Thank you, thank you, bye! See? What a nice guy! Don't you love him already? Seemed fair to me. Yeah, he's very nice. Seemed like a stand-up fella. Why does the sign say free cocaine? <laughs> I better not to ask that question. Cheap cocaine, huh? I apologize. Any more though, that's quite different. Normally it's helping people for the most part. Like that. And I appreciate what you do. Wait for more! Howdy! I'm here. This is the Great Stout! It's the local bar town! And it's run by this individual, Rook! Not only hey, that, but Rook also has plenty yeah. of information about the people around us, as well as some nice little tips and tricks for the newcomers. If you would like to have a great drink with some great people, you go to the Great Stout. 
coming. Come on, back. But you need money for that, right? Hey there, name's Rook. Oh, I got this. Hey, Nash. Yeah, the rest looks free. Right up your alley. Nice to meet you as well, Rook. The name's Free. I'm sure I'll stop by hey there. in the future. Excellent. Well, right, man. All right, then, yeah. My middle name. I lost a lot of money. <laughs> Giovanni. Nice to meet you, Rook. Right. Who was being who? Who was right. being who? Yeah, sure thing. Don't mind hey, it. Yeah. It's the I'm in Mia, and I like your blue collar, glowy uh, I, I believe I think in the it's future for on your face. It's a work in progress. Uh, war. See, it's kind of personal. Oh, How did you get you know what, I glitter you all over you? Uh, I like glitter. Important question. So why not cover it all over? Without a doubt. We're all in this together. There's one doing that. Fuck! Your place you can't. You too. Oh, hey. My place? Hey, what's up, Taco? How you doing? Mm. Okay, are we ready? Right, uh, I'm going to go in here. Bye! Bye. 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 Damn, what an awkward situation. So these are new people. Awkward. It wasn't that bad. Yeah. Who stares? I understand. I, I understand. It is a little weird. I know. It's a little weird. There's a lot of interesting things. There's a little hole in the wall. They've got plenty of little places back here. The first situation is Transfer Carrick's office. Now, you have augmentation, so you might be visiting your pretty people with me. He's pretty good with all kinds of tech, as well as repairs and no augmentations. You'll be able to do this yourself. I think they mean the one inside the shop. Oh. Hi, how you doing? And they're right at the best of the taxi. Oh, yeah, you know, sorry about that guy, but. Oh, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Hello. Are there so many dead robots in here? Anything you need repaired, you come on down here. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. I don't really You're like really other people sparkly. touching my I arm too much. Like I'm gonna go over there. Thank you. I like 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 you. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's gotten me through some okay, hard times. Nice to meet you. I made it out with three okay. fingers. Yep. I don't I mean, really have other pockets. I mean, fingers so... just for gripping. Can I, I mean, no. Mm -hmm. I guess you don't need it. <laughs> Jack oh, was I, I like it. Yeah. Yes, Jack. Thank you. It's nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, fella. I'm Ned. Yeah, nice so to meet you, too. Everyone seems to meet pretty you, nice. What about you, too? Uh, I got that. Name's long. What was your name, Miss? Duncan Kuiper, nice hatch you. service. My name's Giovanni. Pleasure to meet you. My name's Ned. Good to meet you. I get that a lot. Hi. Cat, and he's, he's very offensive. Need anything fancy. repaired? Come on down here, robotics. I get this all the time. I'm just kidding. I don't mean it. I'll keep that in mind. Well, you have a very uh, lovely yeah. horn, sir. Hi. Thank you. Um, I uh, broke one of you them, are but that's okay. Right. I still think yeah. it's lovely in its own way. Thank you. I mean, I don't have an arm. I don't know, I like glitter, so... It's still cool. I mean, that's... It's very, very cool. Oh, just don't I like get any on my floor or my parts. Thank you. Oh, uh, don't worry, it's like no, coded. It's a really usually really people just make fun of me. Got it. No, I think you're pretty you're great. Those things where you can, like, stay in the kitchen. Bye! The dazzle. The dazzle. The dazzle. She's a friendly enough fellow, it seems. I'll keep that in mind. Perfect! There's a lot of dead robots in here. Yeah. Do you guys sell any sort of... Oh, they look pretty dead to me. That one doesn't have a head or arms or legs. Well, if we are decommissioned, we're just making life out of, you know, just recycling. I think it's right, everyone else. We're moving on with the tour. We're going to another robot. Oh, you're right. Hey, don't Bye, call me that. Me. It's not on purpose. Bye, Major Scott. Nice I'm reaching you. the Undercity. I'll be there. Okay. <laughs> that sounded a little bit sketchy. I'm, 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 I'm,
Hello, everyone. Welcome to my chat room. Hello there. You're very... No problem. If you want to go about your thing, you can, or I can take over. Quick, it's you both! This job here is crazy or worse! Owned by Chalice! They produce their beer, all kinds of weapons and accessories! The shields and swords! The weapons! 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 The so if you if you ever feel some heat coming, I'm probably walking up. We can't give you a First handshake. Off. Will you like burn our hand no, off? No, you can give me a handshake. I I've, I've been told I feel like warm laundry. <gasps> what the fuck? Yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. That's cool. <clears throat> Excuse yeah. me. Hey, it's Ori. Introduce She's myself. Ori. It's Ori's Hello. Like Ori, <gasps> you're the one that delivers mail. I might be. Yes, she is. Oh, oh, Quote unquote mail. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Ori. You want to speak up mm. next time? We don't whisper around here. I said it's nice to meet you, Ori. You seem very wow. nice. <laughs> anyway, any swords? I was being sarcastic. Yes. She asked me to speak up. Um, Swords, axes, blades, anything you need to slice and dice. We are now going into more firearms with my associate here. So we you look can like the corpse threw up all over you. give you anything you need to uh, make your way down here. Oh, no, all right. I mean, I like glitter, that's all. We should move on before all the offense all of you. This way. He's offended, She's offended me more you. than anybody. He's being racist. Hey, 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 hey. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. It's that big again! This here is Charles Butcher Shop! He has a ton of meat! And we're not sure where he gets it! Don't worry about That's like a joke, right? Okay, I have to go now. You really didn't give me much else to work with! I apologize! Here! It's a discus! It's nice to meet you. Name's Locke. Name's Nash Quinn. Nice to meet you. You got a lot of meat. Yeah, it's a butcher shop. There's a little one behind you. If I can get the password back, but I'm not sure. Uh so do you just sell meat here? I don't have two facts on yet. I was Do you sell fish? I don't know, just in case I want meat. I mean, yeah, it's hanging everywhere. Sorry. Um I'm Nia. Charles. Nice wow, he actually did a handshake! Yeah. I'm impressed! I don't know if you have a She seems a little skittish like. Yeah, she's. Uh, I like her already. She's like. Not used to this kind of bustle. Hmm. Neither am I! It's nice to meet you. There's the place around the entire area is a wasteland. Where do you get this meat from? Where do you do your hunting? Well, I'll figure it out. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Hmm. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's locally sourced. Very well. Uh, good enough for me. Okay. It looks tasty. Nice and meaty. Anyways, mysterious strangers aside, let's move on. It was a pleasure seeing you. I'm Kai Kazix. Who got it indeed? Let's leave it before he kills me. Head your own, big man. <laughs> Okay. I'm right behind you, Mr. Guybot. She was being a bit of a bully and being samurai. I don't know what that is. Pardon me. Oh, he's just a fucking a robot. That's not even like a physical one either. It's just like a physical one. You have a cool tattoo. It's so not everyone needs to be fucking. Becky, it's Sunday we're together. You were the one who implied it. You took it there. I was worried about how long. Now this here is Ryder's Garage. Oh, one of us is distracted. We'll wait. Do any of you have any questions for me? I know we've seen a lot. No, we don't have to wait. The uh. Do you have any places to go on? No, no, it's all right. Go ahead. Do you have any places that usually people gather around for a bit scrap? 
Oh, trust me, we've got just a place. It's not on the official tour, but I'd be happy to show you here afterwards. You just ran in front of me, sorry. That's right, you also had a question. Yes. The place, the shop that was owned by uh, Talis, I believe his name was. Yes, Quasar Works! Quasar Works. Do they sell weapons to just about anyone? Yeah, no, right? Pretty much! You have the coin? They've got the material. Fair enough. Sorry, Nax, feel kind of short. Now, this here is to all vehicles. Oh, by the way, an um, issue with your door or something. I know that. I know that Bethany. Uh, I don't really fix kind of people, but I just fix mechanics. But her little idea about putting okay. that thing inside the car. If I ever trash, get a car, I'll like, come to you. It's a terrible idea. At least to test it. It seems like it could be kind of dangerous. When I get money, to drive down that big slope. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I know. So funny. <laughs> All right, no more play. No, <laughs> you know. Yeah, please. He's just holding a man in your hand. You're just like, oh. It's a pleasure seeing you, Ryder. You take care. Bye. Take care. Bye. Now, if you can't find a place to live, we'll be your humble abode. I am here myself. I have a little quiet box here. Okay, it's like a hobo oh. thing. Hobo? Hobo town? That's the feel I I'm like getting. Hobo towns. What do you think? Oh, I look I just like home. I like right. the lights. May I pretty. go inside? No, I have some very sensitive information in my box. Please, keep your distance. Why don't you have a door? I can't Anyone just can walk in here. Turn away and back up so that I don't box. see your you information. I mean, you could just get another cardboard box and get some tape and then just make it like so that you have a tape. Yeah, that's right, baby. You're, You're gonna afford to mine. Oh, we're back at the hotel. Yep, and this is the hotel. I actually run this place. And if you ask that, what? What would it be? What do you need? Faye? Oh, you need our IDs? Is that what you're Just trying me. to say? If you would like to have your IDs scanned, please, step forward and present. Uh, here you go. <clears throat> right here. Mine is glitter. I hope that doesn't affect... Oh. It's a big mushroom. Any word on my clothes? Hello? Yeah, I've been looking for him all morning, but I haven't seen him. Anyways, so you can find a place to live? The hotel is the place for you! I have a couple of extra rooms that are currently under renovation! So you How much is this room? Spot. Well, let us discuss afterwards! Trust me, you have your first goal to be finding some sort of occupation here! I don't here. have one. Well, I mean, if you know how much it is, I can know what... I had one, but a little much. Kind of job to get. Mm. Exactly. This is Sakira. She actually does a couple of teaching institutes. But you see, she oh, uses the children. children. But unfortunately, a lot of the children here, here well, they either are already been there or they're gonna die soon. So, if you like to learn anything important, Sakira's the one to go to. Now, unfortunately, I'm not sure if you remember your Okay. I've never been to school before. It's Kira, mi abue. If you do need classes, feel free to approach me and I'll be happy to do them. I specialize in classes history for what? and mathematics. History, oh, mathematics, go. and physics. <gasps> Any other I'm kind of... When is class? I usually run them in the mornings, just after we start. After boxes okay. Are done. Good to know. Thank you, Miss... Fair You're welcome. Thank What's you. your name, by the way, Sparkly One? Uh, I'm Nia. You know, Nia. like, Nia? I see. It's nice to meet you, Nia. Well, I won't keep you any longer, Guidebot. You made our decision. Perfect! Thank you, Sparkly One! 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 Th
Thank you very much. Off with now, you, what you got <laughs> <laughs> And the crap scared of me. I have it too. There's some interesting graffiti. Oh, thank you. As you can see, Let's I've see. got plenty of fans. There's even another picture over here. I want to see. Ooh. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Me. Love guide bot. But it has an X. They wrote that on there. They love me. But it has me. an X. It has an X, that means that, that that's, that's just artistic! Not what? Trust me, they okay. love me! Alright. Uh, yeah, so it's artistic I love, well, I love you! Whoa. Okay. Please, please. Please, 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 at this point. I think you're great. Everything you're Jam? Who the hell are all these people? Hi, I'm oh, Mia! I'm young victims! I'm showing you around town! Are you Hello. from the Southern Belt, too? Who the fuck are you? Oh, well. My name's Nash. It's nice to meet you. Good evening. You I don't know who you are. It's nice to meet you. Thank I'm you. Captain Angelina Grace Tom. Oh, he's great to meet you too. Where's some space pirate agent yeah, service? I've heard a little bit. That's one of the reasons I want to talk to you. Well, it's it's right. in uh, mercenary for hire at your. Uh, and apparently. Okay, uh, well, I don't need no mercenaries, but if you want to be on my crew, you can be like. You make a lot of weird noises. I like you. Know. More than mercenary work. Mm. Howdy. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Captain Angelina Grace Tom. Sure, we'll uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Listen, if y'all go in there, don't be causing no group, trouble. I'm a security guard there, and I will take your kneecap in my heartbeat. Okay, I don't want my don't kneecap. Don't you to Okay, ma'am. I'm trying to find my way down. Also, if you want to get some health, health, some health, some things, help, no, like help your body, and uh, if you get injured. And you don't want to go to that dirty ass corporate clinic. You can come down there and see me and Alana, and we'd be happy to fix you up. Especially if you got cybernetics like that arm right there. I would love, I would love to take that thing apart and take a look at the insides of it. I'm gonna go. I don't know about y'all. Have fun. Yeah, Jamie is part of the official tour now. Really? This is an official tour. Yeah, I don't know. Best tour bot ever. I'm good. I know exactly. he's so right. like good at explaining everything and like telling us where everything yeah, she's is. Yes, he's very in depth. To all you people, it's kind of nice. the love, Jim. Exactly. That's what I'm gonna tell you, anyone. But they're all like, Guidebot, you talk too much. Or Guidebot, why do you have no money but still request food? Guidebot for president. Guidebot for president. I vote for him. Do we now, have this a here is the dirty diamond. If the neon sign all the way oh. there wasn't enough of a tip off, this is our local dance club. But clearly, it's a brothel. They've got some talented singers and dancers. So if you're looking to have a good time and escape the daily nightmare we all live in, this is the place to go. Dirty diamond. Don't act like you don't know. Now, actually, the dirty diamond representatives have asked that I specifically have you all go inside and introduce yourselves. This one is oh mandatory. Oh. Hey, I'm oh. Hello. <laughs> I got new clothes. Oh. That helped me to to get into into my apartment. New clothes. Oh, snazzy Don't worry about it, darling. Don't, oh, thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Until a little bit ago, oh, this is the place of my employment. Um, right. Yes, I'll be the to explain the rest. Um. Well, have a mustache. Very, well, very he kind classy. of already oh, explained you. it. Well, we're going inside. They specifically requested we did. Oh. Come on Hi. in, guys. Ooh. Please, bring it this way. Ooh. Howdy, Rook. Hey, then. Wow. Hello. Can we sit down? Howdy. Yeah, would you guys like a drink? Is it called oh, sure. a victory? Uh, I probably don't have any money. <laughs> you don't have money? <laughs> well, I would like to talk to you. I've heard some things. So I'll give you one in the house for now. <laughs> oh, look at you. <laughs> Come over to the bar if you like. I don't know. Oh. Has your gun seen Nash? Uh, 
Or not usually. No? I could grow to like it though. It struck me as an adventurous kind of man. That's not a bad one. Well, I don't really understand this scene very much. No? Oh, well, I grew up in an area that there were no uh, women or anything like that, so. Uh, sheltered, and so to speak, eh? Uh, maybe a little bit. But I think I could see the appeal. Can you now? Well, I don't think I've ever felt a feeling in my chest like this before. It's not a bad feeling. I think I just want to come back so I understand it better. I think you'll do plenty of learning here, don't you worry? It's fascinating, I'll give you that. What an odd outfit. It didn't really keep her warm. I don't think warm is the boy. It gives my tummy weird feelings. I'm sure you'll get used to it. I think Guidebot comes here often. I hope so. Oh, probably. Funny to think that he'll be here and park himself in a corner. <laughs> oh, I don't think he'd get much use out of the drinks, that's for sure. <laughs> probably not. No, we were just poking a little fun at Guy Bart. He seemed very uh, passionate about the place. The idea of him spending time here was funny, that's all. Maybe he goes to admire that big octopus tentacle over there. Who? The tentacle? I want to hear it. Oh my lord. If you see uh, Al Bones, tell him to come find me. I've got, uh, okay. got to talk to him about oh something. Oh my lord. Okay, I'm going to right. I tell you what. Oh my oh, hello. god. Hello. Uh, you feel nice? Uh, Speaking of that little Roma, where'd you, you go? spend a lot of time here. Uh, of course. <laughs> I don't know. Well, we have a lot of people in here. You can start giving them Apparently, I might be outside waiting for us. <laughs> I'm going to do a little performance. You don't get much business, do you? Uh, I want a taxi. Y'all have fun, man. Hello. Now, that's good business. You don't have to really touch it. Would you like a drink, sir? Yeah, exactly. It's a self guide. It kind of works itself out. <laughs> exactly. I get paid and I get to spend my whole time. I think he's out there waiting for you guys. That oh, sounds like a pretty good deal. Yeah, and then I, uh, you know, I guess we're staying then. Right, Would you like a drink, sir? Uh, Why sure. don't you do oh, right? <laughs> okay. Sorry. People are just oh, bad attracted to me so much. I'm a bad one. 
get out of here and get me some money to Get the blue for the blue. A weird feeling in my chest I mean, got a lot stronger. Oh, oh Josh. For how long? No wonder Becky's still in business. Why was this a surprise to you? I'm sorry! <laughs> As someone like myself, I'm exactly as worry about STDs. Remember what I said about being a moron? You said it anyway. involves oxygen! No, I didn't say that. You assume that because you're an idiot. There she is. Now, while those two were talking. What are y'all names? Oh. Uh, name's Locke. Locke. Nice to meet you. Who are you? want me to go Locke. get him? Name's Warren. Nice. Pleasure to meet you, okay. brother. Pleasure's all mine, Warren. Yourself? Giovanni. Giovanni. One. Pleasure. Hmm. Locke, nice to meet you, Giovanni, Giovanni! What brings you here, Hawk? Down below. Same as anybody else, I suppose. Down on my luck, trying to make my way back up. You look like a detective. No, nothing of the like. Oh? That's a compliment. The detectives tend to poke their nose where they don't belong, don't they? I feel like here in Callis Row, from what I've seen so far, that's a great way to not stay alive. Not a trait I intend that's a good on picking up. good way to lose up. a nose, and the rest of you. Hmm. Depends how lucky you are. I suppose so. A nose is pretty generous! <laughs> that's why I got my one of these. I always go for a bird of the neck. <laughs> we'll keep that in mind. Jesus. Yeah. You will stay, my friend. Everything okay in there? Dig it easy. Okay. Him too, thank I you. Got him. My God, Nash is still mean, alive. I got him. Why are you talking about noses? I bought, I bought my friend. I need you to explain this feeling to me. Do you ever get a weird feeling in your chest? One that makes your heart pump real fast? Do you have heart I don't have either of those things. <sighs> Do you have heart pump? No, like when somebody's singing to you. I just oh, told you. You get a weird feeling in your tummy. I got that feeling. I got that feeling. His name's Kira. had a nice voice. Explain it to me. Dang it! Okay, pretty lady, we're gonna go on the bridge to vibe. Open invitation. Bridge? There's a bridge! You need to take us to the bridge! That's part of the tour! Okay, I'm ready! I'm ready to go to the bridge, but I'll see you over there! Here, you have to explain it to me again later, because I don't understand. <sighs> Boys get sidetracked! He's... <laughs> a good now, enough man. I'd like to ask you one important question! Now, do any of you have any issues with those who are magically inclined? I'm not I a mean, if you no. do, then you'd have issues with me! Because I have magic. Giovanni, I highly recommend you don't go down here. You see, we do have quite the amount of magic users, and we all hate them. So we may some very isolated down here the in the subway. What kind of fucking now, if you have anything against them, and trust me, they'll be able to tell. I saw I a guy at a bar do a trick one time. I don't mm. see any problem with it. So, what if, what if we could case, just, like, give it throw here against it. them, just like the rest of us. Please, the tour is over. I mean, it might be. I can... I can go down. it would be fine. Are you sure you can contain yourself? You look like a pretty buff fellow! Hmm. I'll, I'll keep I him gotta in warn check, you, I've seen Mr. every card Guy trick Bot. in the book. I don't think they can fool Sir? me like last time. Last time? You have... Been... Well, the last couple times. Alright, we're going or what? I'm fucking ready to go now. Was that alcohol? Was that? Was that alcohol in the brothel that they uh, served? Is some kind of supply? Yes. Well, you can use to be. Okay, I. I, I, I now, don't mind all the patients on the side. We 
If you can read this, this one, oh, no. No. Gay. gay. That's not how you spell gay. <sighs> That's offensive. It still got me though. I read it. I guess there have been worse things to happen to old man. Now you remember that non-clinic medicinal place they were talking about, right? Right. Yeah. Why are there phallic objects? It's a banana and a mushroom! Painted on the side of that. That's cute. It's like a little mushroom. Yeah, yeah, it's cute. That, that's what I was thinking. It's a very plump mushroom. Don't tell her. No? I have a bit of a problem with ledges here. So please, feel free to explore. And if you don't want to explore, then come on, we'll continue the tour. But all you need to know is that her little side shop there, her little... Well, it's not exactly the clinic. They do a Wait, lot is of that grease? Things. Is that what Grease Palms was talking about? That yes, small that exactly. thing with the ears, the pirate, space pirate? Exactly! I have to oh. swing by there after the Okay. Tour. So if we get hurt and we don't have money, we go there? I suppose you can trade it that way. So I'm not sure what you I mean, to. I'll have money soon, so it's not like that matters. I have a job. Yeah. Well, once I get an idea, potentially, ID card. Oh. potentially. Well, at least you made it over. You just gotta get a running start, you know. I mean, we oh. can help lift you over if you needed help. It's fucking suffocating it's down here. Yeah. You did it. He just jumped. Guy thought this is really hard. Yeah, I dropped. This is exactly part of the tour. This is a train, why isn't it running? Holy oh, shit. Oh, what the hell is this? There are bridges and shit down there. So I, this is what they I mean by the bridges. Is. Vibrant. I I can hear no, them, but I can't I think my ex-girlfriend had one of those. What, a bridge? Oh, that's a... <laughs> That's a different thing. That's not the same thing. No, it's a thing. And then forget about it. No! Don't get gross. <laughs> Ew. The people. What's this? How did they get down? <laughs> Where'd Guybot go? The, the, the more to your... Already he, lost he the tour. Oh. Probably oh, fell through on the cracks. Follow the train down oh, to the bottom. He's been yeah, waiting. hello! Oh, I see him! Wow! Oh, down there! There he is. Howdy. Yeah, if you go along the bridge and down the Oh, he went down that way. Okay. Can get on this bridge. I'm oh, going no, and followed him. That's really fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we didn't try to Okay, okay. Oh, uh, oh over here. Okay. Well, if you fell, you'd been on your feet, wouldn't you? I think you're putting too much stock in the cat bit. Is it not true? I only I know what I've been told. I'm a backseat. Oh, my God. I'm Please. not a cat. I'm a tabaxi. Yes, but sir, Guybot, like, Mr. Abilities? Guybot. <sighs> I don't like it. Oh, it's sparkly in me. <gasps> you don't like it down here? Here is the eyes. A no. particularly shop, brand by Piata. She also offers good luck mm. charts, as well as magical and mental advisory, if needed. She doesn't seem to currently be in right now, so unfortunately, we'll be moving on. Okay, I want to come here just to vibe. Excuse us? I guess. Yes. There's a lot of glitter and sparkly stuff in there. I know, just not. like... Okay. Uh, is yeah, just enough, like your clothes. You. Perfect! Thank you very much! Am I proud of this time? Yeah. Yes! Uh, just power through it, buddy. We'll get out of here. I won't steal anything! Oh, yes. Absolutely. Better know to know Thank everything you, that there is to offer. This here is our cutter! Howdy! Our cutter is a magical appraisal shop ran by Ikalos. If you would like to have your magical prowess and work on to life, available for plummet viewing, ridiculing, and general mockery, this is the place for you! <clears throat> our cutter. Is it cancer or is it medical affinity? Let's find out. Unfortunately, it appears that Ikalos is currently here! So the whole reason I brought you down here means nothing! I mean, I can vibe! 
Thank you very I much like to the, uh, for the sub. Thank you for the sub. I can't talk. I can't look at chat. I love you. Thank you. Hearts and chat. We'll make it really quick. Cicada's waiting for us. Okay. What is this grove anyway? Well, we're going to it, all right? Like, just be patient. All right, all right. What? Coming back. You look, it turns oh, your no. to your left, and it all works that Die way. Die Um, the male lady, she told me to push you, but I don't, you know. <laughs> As she said, to push you off a ledge. This seems like yeah. a fitting one, but. But, like, you've been so nice, and, like, that would just be mean. Well, please don't. Help. Anyways, if you look to the left, get too close to it. It might stumble. Over there is the arena. Wait, you were asking about stuff. fighting. You could go up they there. Me, and I'll be personally yeah. showing you there afterwards. Now, Wait, how do we get? Go. Oh, okay, you'll show. Okay, yeah, 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 no, 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 I'm. The arena is an official part of it, but if you'd like to know afterwards, or if you just can't remember where to get anywhere, find me, and I'm happy to take you anywhere for a small fee. Okay, uh, good to know. Wait, free. You take cards too? Yep. I bet you probably yeah, should no, get a no, card I'm just soon. To put a seller down. Mr. Nash. Nash and Bash. Do what? Rash and Cash. <laughs> Nash and Bash. Flash. This here's the grove. I like that. Now, unfortunately, I personally don't actually know much about this place. So I don't usually come here. Seems oh, rather so unnatural. Actually, it's the most natural place here! I was gonna, uh, yeah, it's that like the most natural so looking place. How much do you think Anyways, this is worth? Moving on! I mean, I don't think you can grab it. I don't Imagine think you shouldn't could probably feel break a piece off. Bad. Somehow but I feel like it's just. I mean, I don't know. I was told not to feel. Oh, I don't think anybody owns the crystal. I mean, I'd say it's not I worth mean, risking it. Moved it. Yet, right? Yeah, like probably if it's still there, yeah, it's with fair. Fair. around, maybe you it's should possible. take it. <laughs> Hi again. Hi. I did wait back to you <laughs> mentally. <laughs> Always that loud. Why is there a pentagram Man. over there? No, them. Why is the water going in? Like but yes, most of the time they are. Nah. Hmm. Now, this here is what I was going to say. The lady that wanted to push you off the edge. Can I touch it? Hello. Hey, it's Akita. Watch out behind you. Hello. Oh, Welcome please, to the same. I'm a teacher. Allow me to let you in. <gasps> Woo! Do not open. take anything. Uh, yes, ma'am. That was a pretty glowy door. It is to keep out the riffraff and those who lack the gift. Get in. I have a gift, don't I? I like have that a gift rug. for being obnoxious. That is I nice. don't have any gifts. I don't have any money. Gifts? Hey, Cicada, do you know where Ikolos is? I have not seen Ikolos since he was discharged from the hospital yesterday. I do know that Kythus is up above having lunch at the moment. <laughs> well, I'll let you do it. I need to go not steal stuff. Alright. So is our tour over? No. After this it is! 
Okay. Oh. What's about them in there to this place? They usually don't let me in. That's true. Oh. So. Okay. Can I follow the robot? No, you will stand here and listen. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the Sanctum. This is the home of magic here in Kalisville. You will find within a school of magic that teaches runes and abilities that may be beyond understanding. But the side is where if you uh, excuse me, where Kythus works, you will meet him later. He constructs magical devices, especially staffs, which he specializes in. The alchemy workshop research. If you have further questions, I would recommend you speak to Ikelos uh, or Kythus. Both of them are experts in all matters here. Myself, I'm just the teacher. I help out. Yes. What do they look like? Well, currently, Kythus is in a wheelchair. He wears a oh dark no. outfit and has a burn scar on the side of his face. Icolos, you will recognize you haven't met him yet, but he's a small imp about this tall. Oh. He I don't is think I've seen an imp yet. Imp? You have not. Imp, imp yes. He looks like an imp. I don't actually know what his species is. He's not human. Ooh. That much is certain. Gotcha. And, uh, he is the researcher here in all things magical. He specializes in the combination of uh, runes. And technology. I think it may be the best way to put it. So, welcome to the coven, and I hope you enjoyed your tour. If there's any other questions. Thank you! Yeah. Uh, of course. I appreciate it. If there's um, any so other questions. I have a question. You go first. You first, then you. Me first? Yes. Yeah, you um, first. So, if we want to come in here to learn, we just come to you? You would normally come to Kythus. Luna was the young one about this tall with big ears. Big ears. Or okay. Icolos. Any of them can let you within. Also, Felix, although I haven't seen him in some time. He has not been here the last couple of days. Okay. Speaking of Kythus. Speak of the devil oh, and Kythus, the tour was coming through and I let them in. If the magic Perhaps users, that's fine. Sure. I, out this place is I know Matt, can I do my I can only do it. Um I'd suggest I suggest holding it off if you can. Okay. Yes, sir. Remember that primer? Never mind. Yes. Just be careful! Venus is glitter, but okay. So they were asking questions. I mm. thought it best if you answered. I think I'll keep my question to myself. So all four of you are magic users? Probably stupid in hindsight. No. Uh, I... Uh, uh, it's okay to offer to let us in for the tour! This one here is Luna. Who I mentioned earlier. Yeah, she has the big ears. She's the rune expert. That is all for me. I wish you all a good day. Thank you. I work down there. Oh. Have we managed to fix Wait, the lights yet? Wait, you shot the Arcana one? Nope! Pretty much across the street! Oh. She runs the rune shop. Right. Right, right, right. I'll get the hang of things mm -hmm. eventually mm -hmm. so it's you and do you yeah have magic mm. yeah what kind if you don't mind me asking <laughs> i have a fire and element around me guy this is probably not the time it's fair Is the tour. So, guys, we're gonna go back to what we were doing. You guys have a wonderful tour and have fun fucking around a Kalos Row. Let's go, Kai. Thank you. Well, okay, hey, bye. I'm so nervous. Yeah. I don't know any card yeah. tricks. Hi. Hey, oh, again. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi. 
interesting though. Hi. You have a beautiful voice. I just wanted to tell you that. Thank you. Anyways, that pretty much concludes the tour. Again, if you need help finding anywhere else, or you have anything else you need to look for, I'm your guy. Do you have any other questions for me before I head out? What do you think Where's people should? Where's the nearest phone booth? I gotta make a phone call. All the way upstairs. Pretty much right next to the exit. Straight to your left. Near the hotel. You can't miss it. Okay. I'll find my way back. Are you going back up? Yes, I was going to say what you would advise everybody to do after their tour. I advise you try to talk to people that might seem out of or that might seem to have similar, well, interests to you. As well as you don't have a job. Make sure to look for some employment. I mean, I have any more. So, until the bank gets me my new card, what do I do? You're fucked. You're fucked. Basically, yes. Become best friends with somebody. Exactly. Make sure they have lots of money. Man, Nash can do. Well, no, not really. You've been kind of racist and shit to me and like... You, your body. Offensive. Miss Nia, right. I'm right. very sorry. I didn't yeah, intend sure for it. I just, I've right. never seen a tabaxi before. I'm half I thought you could do cat thing. Do I look like I have half fur all over me? Yeah, I'm half human. No, but you got fur ears. I mean, Well, that's yeah. kind of mean. I'm sorry. I, I just thought you were really cool. You bozo. I'm d I, I drank one drink over there and like... I'm a little bit more loud and a little bit more blunt when I'm drinking. Hey, I don't mind it, but I just wanted to let you know that I, I like your tail and your ears and I you got claws. I thought you could do cat, cat things. Well, I can do some cat things, but it's offensive to assume. I apologize. You're on the roll, Nash. Your apology is accepted. And now I'm going to go use the phone. Does anyone else need to go back up? Uh, out of this I'd like to go back up. up. I'd like to get out of here, yes. I, will... <laughs> I need to vibe up there. That's what I have to do. But first I have to make a phone call. So I'm going to go up there and let them know that. If you need help, I might know the way out. What's your vibe? I couldn't Vibing, tell you. you know, just chilling, you know, just hanging, you know, just fucking chilling, just fucking chill, bro. You know. You think they got steam pipe? I mean, what's that? Well, how about we go to the surface Little before Missy. we ask these questions? Yeah, let's go. Come on. That's I'll a fair go. point. <clears throat> Hey, sorry for the grove detour. I know you don't like it down here. No, it's fine. It's better to Get know our surroundings. <clears throat> Hi, Get up there. Howdy. What? Oh, right. I forgot. Haha, <laughs> right here. Ah. Uh. Are you supposed to be leading the way, know. little miss? I have to go make a phone call. call. And then I'll see you right back. Hi, right, nice oh, to meet okay. you. Uh, if you go up, are you the, the uh, imp? Yes, yeah, so we're all no. vibing here. Fuck yeah, let's vibe. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. Oh wait, let's pass their way as if you. Okay. Uh, I think I think it's great. The fastest way to a phone booth be is if you go down there's the a ladder. Uh, right between the I mean, you know, you wouldn't be the first. The, no. the, the fortune teller and the the <laughs> ramp. I, I think it was right there. Show good. me a shortcut. I've never seen yeah, someone so... What do you just walk right over me, though? Nash. Yeah. Just oh, sorry, that's, that's very rude. That yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go to the phone booth. Does anyone else need to go to the phone booth? Well, if you want to find your way to the surface, I absolutely. Skokie, <laughs> she's not gonna jump. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna jump. Maybe we should go to a phone booth up top. Do you want, can you, like... We'll I see mean, you all around. I'm yeah, you. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, can you okay. like... Can you yeah. <laughs> I've had one drink, and it's a little... My brain doesn't oh. work. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, you're very valid. Uh, oh, you still grinding. Ma'am. We're going back oh, to the top. Shit. Oh, 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 shit. Oh,
Yeah. Yeah, there's like so much. Do you not like water? No, it fills it. Too much water. No. You piss and shit, you know? Yeah, bro. Wait, this is sewer? It's fine, I'll dry off. Okay. Come on, Nash. You smell just like everyone else here. Oh, knife it in. Here. Yeah. One away. <clears throat> I'll, be I'll be back for our vibe session. Okay, yeah, you just go up and then out the alleyway, and you should be next to the stores, and you should find your way back here. So, also, hi, Thank it's you. nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. My name's Nash. I am Bethany. Now, she said vibing means chilling. He's kind of He's yes. kind of racist and offensive, so just don't take mine, he's kind of dumb. I apologize to you, it wasn't on purpose. <laughs> I've never met a tabaxi before, I'm sorry. Oh, well, that's understandable, but I see you have a robot arm. So, if you ever need repairs, uh, if you go right between where, like, the hospital is, and like the grindstone, there's a dark alleyway. That's where I am at. I'm Hod's Recycle Shop. And it, the name deceives you because I can fix up anything, any way possible. Or I can make new things with existing junk. I just, you know, repurpose it. And it, it's all, it works. It Ooh. just works. Yes. So um, I would not recommend going to the second hand shop, which is uh, what Jack's shop is called um don't go there because his stuff he, he 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 will not be afraid to cut any corners meaning that anything you get is gonna get lots of errors man so i have reliable junk he has mean junk so i do yeah. know a thing you too about reliable junk it seems like um, a lot of y'all are in competition with each other yes Mostly because he likes to steal my my robot customers, and that's very mean of him. No, oh, that's mm -hmm. not okay. Exactly. Now, like... I had a question before I go up top. Uh huh. So, she mentioned vibe means chill. Does that mean y'all have steam pipe? Steam pipe. Oh, you can't chill uh... without steam pipe. Well, you can. It's just you, if you not want on the steam level that pipe. I want to chill. Right, uh, you want to talk to Eight, unfortunately. Uh, he runs the convenience store. He has uh, the, the, the fun stuff. Mm -hmm. Very nice, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. And also, what's your name? Name's Locke. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Bethany. Pleasure's mine, Bethany. You have a cool hat. I'd love to stay and talk, uh, but if you'll oh, excuse wiggly. me, I'd like to get out of here. Get back to the surface. He's a rat. No, he's a mouse. And he's got a hat. Eve. Yes, sorry, they made him sorry. that. <clears throat> God, he really takes his time, doesn't he? I really miss my watch. Uh, making friends, are you? I'm trying my best. With no money, <laughs> that's probably better to have a few. Smart man. Now, where's the telephone? I think I saw a couple booths on the main street. Probably down here. Hmm. Oh, there's a med bay. Ah, I remember where we are. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure there's a couple down below by the subway entrance, if I had to guess. Yeah, I think I saw them, too, by the hotel. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've been a great discussion. Yes, please. Numbers... Plans, logistics, itinerary, the more you give to me, the sooner it's to say, but I think I might be staying here. Uh, well, if anything, hopefully only for a few days. Gainful employment will save you from that, yeah. but... If 
Perhaps you can retrace your steps, find your card. I hope so. Or maybe even the bank getting me a new card quickly. That would but be rather lucky, wouldn't it? Either a bit slow. Oh. There we go. You can go ahead and use this one if you need. Oh, I appreciate it. I think I will. Feeling better now? Sure. Hmm? You good, man? Yeah, I was asking if you're feeling better. You wouldn't have for a while. Hold on one second. Sorry. <laughs> hey. Hello, Giovanni. I don't know if you heard the news, but half off on first drinks at the grindstone. Really? They announced it at the arena. Hmm. So you've gone and seen the arena. How is it? Yes. I think it could take some of the guys here. Really? Looks like you already found your calling. Hmm. Mm. Well, anything with physical labor should be fine. Ah, uh, fair enough. What are you looking for? Not quite sure yet. It's funny that you should bring up the grindstone. I was going to walk by it myself when Nash was done. See if anything was to be told, you know? Right. Well, I guess I'll head over there now. I'll see you there. Yeah, I'll see you there. Be safe. <sighs> You're right. <laughs> I'm very concerned about him. He's, back in. he's come in and out of about two times now. I think he prefers the virtual world over the real. How would anyone want that? Yeah. I don't know. Everybody has their own way of dealing with things, I guess. Yeah. I prefer the real world, you know? <laughs> Fair enough, same. I can influence it. I like to be in control of my own fate, I suppose. I'm having a bit of deja vu, to be honest. Are you? Mm, I don't know. I feel like I... I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Hmm. You go see the fire down in the arena? Uh, actually, I just heard from the fellow over there, Giovanni, that uh, it seems like an interesting place. But I was going to head over to the grindstone with Nash and a few others. See if you can hear anything about the going-ons. Get used to town. I need one of the attendants to be there as it opens. It's closed mm. at the moment. I did see one of them. Oh, there he is. Uruk? Mm-hmm. Hey there. Hello. There you are, sir. Well, it looks like he's opening it right up. So it would <gasps> seem. Oh, sorry. What was, what's his name? The one in the VR. Uh, Nash. Gentleman with the cowboy hat. He's, uh... You just... He's a bit airy, but seems like a good enough fellow. Anyway, everyone seems to be... Definitely a little no, but I mean, he seems to be genuinely not a bad bone in his body. He's been stumbling about all day. Well, less bad bones to be had if he has a robotic arm. <laughs> you okay in there? The good Samaritan in me tells me not to leave until I know he's all right, but he's been in there so bloody long. Maybe he could, he could be in there for hours. Hmm. Could be. Uh, it's on him. Where were you heading? Just about anywhere, I suppose. I might head in the grandstone myself as well. well if you're going, I'll go. I'm sure Nash will be all right. Hey! You should be. Is that on me? Other people have to use the booth now and again. <laughs> uh, poor Shut Nash. Up. It'll be all right. Should be. I guess so. Oop. Well, it just closed on me. What the hell? I know, I saw that. We've been <laughs> locked inside there, man, you know? Oh, no. 
And to think I was just going what's there with Warren to get a drink. Shame. Oh. Yeah, what's, what's your name? Yes, yeah, right after you went in. Oh, um, I don't know what uh, was that. You're going to have to talk to uh, whoever is in there to unlock it, you know? Uh, well, I'll, I'll wait out here, I suppose, Warren. I'm not really big enough to open the door myself. <sighs> I meant to ask you, Ryder. Does yeah. that, uh, that taxi bot belong to you? Yeah, it works for me. Hmm. I was just curious. I didn't know if anybody had any, uh, you know, ownership. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, he, he came around, uh, you know, yesterday, and I already put him to work. Hmm. Fair enough. Yeah, a thousand credits for anywhere you want to go. Above ground and two thousand underground. Hmm. And then double that if it's an emergency. Sounds fair enough. Yeah. There he is. We're out of that one! He just said we're out of that one! I think you might have grabbed the wrong one. I think the pink one's toxic. What? But he said we're out of the pink one! What's with all the yelling? Let me look. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me let me get back in here. We might have yeah, what, what what you? Sure. Yeah, she bit on the match. We might have another one. Uh, no, I, I, I didn't bet on the match. You're not doing your job that would have been, because uh, it was technically a professional thing, that would have been there bad anyway. There we are. Nash will come back because there's a whole lot of goggle burn on his face. <laughs> but it's fine, it's toxic uh, anyway, so you I can't really can't best piece best the man together. Alright. Yeah, yeah, we wanted to prove that that happened. We'll be fine. There you are. He'll be alright. I haven't found out yet. So what brings you to Callus Road, darling? I didn't catch your name. I assume they're talking about it right now. Giovanni. New beginnings. New beginnings. What were you doing in your former life then? Serve the rest of us. Should I? Oh, God damn it! <laughs> what can yeah, I get you? Yeah. Social hour. Is <laughs> it always so lively? Lots of toxic. I only uh, yeah. have one left. Looking. Do you have the one that makes the most of the area of work? Is we got the one that makes your pee blue. There mm -hmm. you are, darling. There we go. Oh, Take that. Yeah. Wait. What? Um, what do, what do can I get? Us? That's what I ordered. I mean, every time you're supposed to take to his money after you give him a drink. Oh, God. Yeah. Thanks. Hold on. Amateur. Oh. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, he seems to have enough toxic to go around. The machine's got to be around, around here somewhere. Does he need oh, a job request? Did you hire this guy? Okay. I'll, what the fuck? I'll just pay later. <laughs> Some amateur. No, 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 I got you. I got you. There you are. The counter? Oh, yeah, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you. I had to find the machine. I'm Jesus. sorry. Um, right. I guess we both get blue as well, I suppose. That's fine sure. by me. Yes, thank I'll you. I'll take your recommendation. You can't just slam. I just started. You all slammed me. It's not fair. What can I get you, darling? I want some of that. The bar's though. always packed after an arena fight. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Right. We'll take two over right. here as well. Take my money, too, by the way. There. <laughs> yeah, you didn't take other people's money. You find work yet, by the way? <laughs> I'm still feeling around, seeing what there is available. Oh. And you, James, what can I get you? Two blue, whatever the blue is. The mushroom drink is actually good now. They watered it down. What do you find yourself doing all day, Warren? On Earth, what they do? Not much. Here, I'll I'll pay for both. Really, it's very kind. Thank you. Oh God! Oh God! Nice muscle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good thing you're not open for an ex corp mm -hmm. like him. Yeah, let me corp. open those. Yeah, I'm surprised he yeah. bought the bottles. He's very scrawny. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Unlike you. At least he's not, not covered in glitter. Right. That's the true. gentleman was Enjoy. kind. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Are Thank you. you. Oh, oh, God. God. Becky, what, what do you want? The bar side is oh, a little uh, forward. Move downwards. I must have left my credits in my other coat. Guess it's not going to buy anything. That's rough for you. I'm wonder sure if, wonder if Nash will find his way down here. Say again? It's a little loud at the bar. I wonder if Nash will find his way down here. <laughs> well, if he does, it will be a miracle in my eyes. In fact, mind if we move down one more? <laughs> well, let's go for it. Yeah, really? it's a shot for everyone. Yeah. <clears throat> Peter Brothers Deli said it. I know. Thanks, Dad. Oh, there you go. Have you ever drank this before, or am I a guinea pig? 
Oh, well, I'm as much a guinea pig as you may be, because I haven't <laughs> had the drinks before yet. Fair enough, then. Cheers to you, Warren. Thank you for my first drink in this shitty... <laughs> well, first time for everything. <sighs> well, that's sour as shit. <coughs> <coughs> Not bad. Not bad. Oh. <coughs> no, it's, it's rather... What is this thing made of? It's very earthy. Yeah, whatever it is, it's... It's wet. That's all that matters. Uh, it's wet. Goes down smoothly. <laughs> Tell me, Warren, you um, seem like an interesting gentleman. What do you do all day, if I may ask? Well, I will go with the forge, Callus. The star child, uh, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Make weapons. I uh, want to upgrade his shop to make guns instead. Well, guns as well as uh, swords and whatnot. I see. How did you find yourself in that business? I'm surprised it's even allowed down here, though I doubt the corpse are going to come down and regulate anything. No. I had to my way to this kind of business because even though I was... Well, I was a big boy when I was younger. I'm still young, yeah, but back then, I found myself uh, learning from the stakes of my sibling. My older brother got into fighting. Died young. It wasn't the right choice. My sisters were raised differently than I was. And then I, uh, I decided to, uh, hone in on intelligence. So about the smarter you are, the more likely you are to survive. Right. And found I'm good with technology. It's true. So I work with weapon technology. Star with uh, uh, Kyoto. And when I worked for them, I did weapon technology development, repair, and research. And I was good. Damn good, but I left. I didn't agree with a few things, so... And I chose to come here, because it's more like home. Yes, no one asks any questions now, do they? No, no need, I suppose. What about yourself? Where do you come from? Well, before Callis Row, I suppose I was just wandering from place to place. Nothing really hold me down anymore. Anything that I ever had of value or considered important to me is long gone. So. I'm married to the road, so to speak, and this is where it seems to have ended. For now. Yeah, Trevor. Yeah. But, gonna have to try and find my way, I guess. Not gonna be able to operate around here without gainful employment. You'll find your way, I'm sure. I did. Others did. Yes, despite all the, uh, all the talk about everyone showing up and dying, it seems everybody's thriving in their own way, more or less. Yeah. Let's not, uh, let's not make it a norm, still, eh? Well, interesting people around here. Any people in particular I should know? Be aware of? Well, I mean... Well, I've only been here for a day more than you have, and interesting folks, I would, uh, definitely, definitely make friends with, uh, Kong, the big, uh, fun guy. Mm -hmm. Uh, I would definitely make friends with Fat Rook, fella. He's a good guy, seems nice. Right. Funny dude. Definitely, definitely will make good friends with him. Um, uh, if I were you, take my advice, open a bank, go to that, uh, well, the bank. Oh, but they can And, well, make sure you put your money there. Uh, uh, when you find your job, just spend little, save high. Oh, absolutely. I'm not really a big spender myself, or bare minimum is all I need. You are a traveler. I've carried most of my life on my back. No reason to stop now. I agree. Anybody around here you know that uh, is a kind of person to talk to for work? Well, it depends what you do. What do you specialize in? 
<laughs> uh, how do I put that into words? I'm good at finding things and people. And that's a word for it, I suppose. As long as there's pay involved. Well, I heard the mayor was looking for someone of your ilk. Really? The mayor himself? Yeah. Hmm. Love you all talk to him. I think I saw him go upstairs, as a matter of fact. Want to wander around and see if we can't find him? I wouldn't mind it, though. Do you think it's something I should speak with him about in such a public setting? Well, we find him and we can find out. Huh? Fair enough. I like the way you think, Warren. <laughs> thing is the best thing I can do. <laughs> Oh, he's over there by the bottom track. Yeah. Then I shall follow your lead. I had nightmares. The, the food made me sick. Oh, Mr. Mayor. Yes. Oh, my goodness. It's all right. My friend is looking for work, and I think you're looking for someone to work for you, right? In a certain department? Yes. Yes, I am. Uh, why don't you give me ten minutes and we'll talk back at the bank. I'll come find you, or, you know, if I'm at the bank's open, come on in. Absolutely, take your time. Did you need anything, darling, before I I feel like, you know, not to stereotype, but I feel like you very much might be what I'm looking for for a certain role. So let's get to know each other and see what you can do. I suppose we'll discern that later. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Mm hmm Look forward to seeing you. Take it easy. we finish our drinks? He still hasn't showed up, has he? He said he was going to come over here, didn't he? Yeah, he did. <sighs> but I suppose maybe he got sidetracked. He does like to ask people a lot of questions. So. <laughs> well... Probably gets a lot of answers, too. That's a good thing. More than likely. Could be bad, though. I don't think he knows what to do with those answers, though. Poor bastard. He even lost his card on the way in. Hello. What's going on? How are you both doing? All right. Mm. And yourself? Go ahead, I'm on break. I saw you both when I was dancing earlier. Just not be in front of a pillar for you. There we go. <laughs> Yes, Guidebot made it very clear that we should visit. I'm glad to see new faces. I get to see you. I don't want to go for shows. No, yeah. Yeah, within his first day here, you helped Nash learn something about himself, the gentleman with the cowboy hat. Funny feelings in his tummy, he said. Actually, did you see him on your way in? He went into one of the VR booths like almost an hour ago, came out three times, looked at us, went back in. Uh, I heard... Uh, the, the VR booths are kind of addicting, you might want to pull on the way from that when you get the chance. <laughs> Oh, well. the arena if you guys want to watch. Arena who? Oh, arena fight? Yeah. Who's fighting? It's just a cliffhanger. Do you know who is fighting? Yeah, eight and the grease bomb girl. Oh. Captain grease bomb. Wait, eight, the guy who's at the, the convenience store? Yeah, yeah, that guy. He's fighting the little girl? Oh, he's gonna get his ass kicked. <laughs> I bet. He probably will. She's got a lot of fighting in that girl. That sounds like an interesting scenario. Ooh, ooh, it's hitting me. Oh, goodness. You didn't see that. No, it's alright. It hit your ass if you shake it up. I was wondering why there was so much well, sediment at the bottom. I turned my head. Let me. You gotta make sure it's on there tight, or else don't want to make that mistake again. Gotta wait till you yeah, actually. You'll feel it towards the bottom. Like, it'll be like a little bloop. Then. Oh, apparently, there's a way to drink the damn thing, Warren. You didn't tell me this. Thank you very much. I didn't. I didn't know. I haven't been here before. <laughs> I was close. 
Touch base. You're, uh, your boss. <laughs> What's her name? When you get away. Kia da. I gotta say, I have never seen somebody quite like her. She Mayor, is a side to be old. Record the speaking She's quite uh, unique, and she is right there. Yeah, yeah, and I'm not afraid to say to you. Could you say my name? In fact, I, I would really love to say it to you. Can you put in an order for a uh, Hello. Hello. I remember you. You are a side to be old, Thank you. Thank you, sir. You can see plenty more. Right, so I'm cute. What's it like to have a mustache? This is a genuine question. <laughs> it, it, sometimes it can feel rather flashy and good looking, but whenever you try to eat or drink anything, or wear anything on your face, it's a pain. Well, I would like to think that you are a very important person, and I would be peace with you. It's really not as interesting as it looks. They've always like, cause I, I can't get one, obviously, unless I buy one. Ooh, to the internet I go. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, like, can I buy a fake mustache on the internet? No, not really. I'm just kind of trying to meet all the new faces around here. There's so many. <laughs> if only I had the face to show you. When she ignores me, it's in her nice way yeah, of saying no. I was curious about that. <laughs> well, at least yeah, she's kind no about sense. it, I suppose. Protect my head. My head. <laughs> that's that's <sighs> smart. Coming to a place like yeah. this, you need protection. Oh, cool, deep Absolutely. accent, mustache. What do you hey, do for you a living? Yeah, nothing yet. I had plenty of work <laughs> oh, before wait, wait, I came to Calvis Row, but it seems well, I, I might so. be in luck in a few minutes. I don't want to go in unprepared. To man. No. Oh. <laughs> well, We're, we, may, we have everything But I know there. there's the arena, the bank. What brings you to a place like this anyway? Um, what brings you to Calvis Row? I'm sure you could be a really fancy oh, butler here. at one of the restaurants. <laughs> Oh, not okay. quite my that, style, no. My home. I can't say I'd find myself it's not in that the, place. not the greatest place to be from, but... <laughs> oh, well. Nothing against people well, who have more are options than me. Kind of. <laughs> well, yeah, actually... Those options like weren't born of anything nice. Of, uh, if it's of any consolation. Pleasure. Making people feel good. And happy, mm. you know? Well, sometimes well, I feel like it might be easier to live a simpler life if I so far down experience down less. Oh, I'm glad. Neither here nor there. Eyes forward. You have no idea. There's that. way more for where that came from. <laughs> oh, I know that feel. Can't waste your time walking backwards when there's a friend right there. <laughs> Very true. And you keep walking, and more and more people will come to watch, that's for sure. People are all different. Where are you from? I'm gonna go tease Alfonso. You have a good one. You too. Small place. Just like my house roll. Ask me next time you stop by the bottle. I certainly will. An alley. There is no sort of alleys. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm kind of used to this kind of, uh, this kind of world. It's small, simple, and you can enjoy the people you choose to. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I specialize in. Making sure everyone feels I don't think, I think like they're having some, some good times. Yeah, they're not. Good but times over here. Like <laughs> That'd be a first for a long time. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Just good well, we times in general. <laughs> we got plenty to give out. Oh, I believe it. Everybody's spoken very highly of that establishment. Oh. <laughs> 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 We're not going to turn anyone away, don't worry. Unless you're heels. If we get you out of heels and you trouble. That makes, that makes me feel a lot better. Oh. I would think I'd be turned away. As soon as I walked in the door. Oh, sorry, I thought you were thinking about it. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's good. Oh, no. oh, you you don't good? think so? Yeah, you have a nice, you sweet voice. I don't think it happened. I don't I know, but I, I don't need to know. High heels, keep that in your brain. Mm, I'm gonna okay. tease I bond up. Well, I <laughs> appreciate the compliment. And the weird yeah. shirts. <laughs> You'll have a good time. How you doing, static? I'm stuck. You're stuck? stuck? Mm. Well, I don't see the issue in that, Arlen. <laughs> Your friend can be whatever it wants to be. You're still you. And that's the best part. Thank you. Where are you from? Oh, well. I'm married to the road, to be honest. No real place I call oh, home yeah? anymore. Hmm. Anything that was oh. important to me is, well, long gone. I can't use my here. But so I you know I guess that's a fair way to put it. Not nailed down anywhere. Mm. Mm. I like your mustache. 
That's the second time I've heard that tonight. Thank you. I'm glad. Uh, we don't have any of those around here. I put a lot of effort into it, so I'm glad somebody appreciates it. Yeah. Mm, most you have a nice come look. Pairs, though. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Well, when you've got nothing oh. but the clothes on your back, I guess looking good is kind of important. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know how you feel. Mustaches, we uh, better go find that. You're right. Before, before we lost him forever. You are very right. Don't want to lose him. It was nice oh. to talk to you, gentlemen. Hopefully I can see you more. And you as well. What did you say your name was again? So I don't forget. I'm Kira. Kira Diamond. Kira. I shan't forget. <laughs> well, I can definitely see the diamond Pleasure part. <laughs> Thank you. Come by sometime. I'll make sure you feel welcome. <laughs> it's all right. Oh, you left him hanging there. It's all right. Sorry, I'm used to people shoving things at me. <laughs> oh, Thank you so much. My pleasure. My pleasure. All right. And Have a good night, again, boys. I can see the diamond part, a diamond in the rough. <laughs> yes, that's my life. You take it easy now. Goodbye. Put a disposal out of the trash can before. Alright, good idea. Throw that adventure to find a uh, long ass Harry Brand. Oh. <sighs> you just gotta be out there somewhere. Hopefully. <clears throat> Seems everyone is, uh, well, not everyone. But there are folks who are rather friendly, which is nice. Uh, Hello. You can make more friendly people if you're friendly to them. Mm -hmm. Howdy, partners. Speaking of howdy, partners, <laughs> we have to go find one. Oh, no. uh oh. What? Oh. It's vacant. He's gone. Uh oh. Oh, wait. There he is. Let's so not do another time then. Sick. You know, when you're, 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 you're like, more by your other work. Yeah, yeah, I, got I, got I got a couple appointments. Are you, are you actually going in? Where are you just sitting in there? It's good meeting you. I don't know where to go. I just want to just get to take the money from him. Come on now. Hey, Nurse, oh, sure. you all right? Sure, sure, why not? All right, Desmond. You doing all right, Nash? Run you around the city. Nash? Partner? Like a tour? Sure. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I'm, what do I look <laughs> like? He's got a tunnel vision right now. He always does. Oh, few right, years. All right, partner. Uh, all right. You, you mind if I uh, me? You mind if I get some steam pipe going in here? <laughs> uh, he just spent like an hour in the VR booth. He's hotboxing Johnny. Came out three and the first times. Thing he does is get in the and then got in a taxi and left. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> You not want oh, to fuck. You know what? Uh, I gotta clean yeah. that. Fuck. Oh, what happened? Oh. Hey, what you doing? You it got smaller, my friend. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, the fight is arena was a hell of a fight. You know, uh, I got arrested. Bit off there. <laughs> Doing some, so I got there. Doing some much heavier physical yeah. uh, you know, exertion. You know what I'm New saying? People? Yeah. Gotta, gotta yeah. do some rest. Certainly. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's <laughs> fucking <laughs> tall. Oh my goodness. I'm on a well, if we lost him forever, <laughs> there he goes. Especially from <laughs> your perspective, okay? I guess. Yeah, everybody's on the dog. Put him in right oh, there. He's up <laughs> on the railing. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. See, now I can join everybody. Hmm? You alright? Fair enough. Yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> he was up in the, the catwalk a second ago. Ah, it'll be fine. <laughs> I was worried he'd just get stuck in the booth and never come out, but he's with the taxi now, and that's on him, I suppose. Though I should uh, find the mayor. Did they get fucked up already? Uh, yeah, go to the bank. You should go. <laughs> Talis oh, went yeah, on for a nice little run idea. after him. Well, Warren, I appreciate oh, the drink, and you Oh, you're coming with me? Excellent! You know who won? No, no, I'll bring you over there. Here, let's go. Thank you very much. It was simple. Who 
the arena. This man? If she confuses you, please come straight to me, Giovanni. Welcome, I was expecting you. Nice to see you again, Mr. Mayor. I you two have a good time. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you, Warren. I appreciate all your help. I'll look for you when I'm done. All right. See you then. Take care. Right. Keep keeping an eye on that. Here and there. Just a little. Do you have any previous credit we need to know I'm excited. About Please take a seat over there. You don't I'm have, like, very a warning, excited that absolutely no. someone came in. Okay, sure. Well, that's definitely a step above <clears> our <throat> usual elk that comes in here. Are you a slumber? Oof. Can I get you anything to drink? Oh, no. I'm fresh no. from the drinks, um, to be honest. I, <clears> no, I we appreciate the offer. Of um, Okay, you seem very articulate. Uh, well, I have a couple of positions, and of course, we're also happy to work with certain people. We're expanding. I'd like to hear about you. you know, tell me everything. I didn't even catch your name in the loud pug. Well, I go by the name of Locke, Mr. Mayor. I like to keep things simple. Locke. Rolls off the tongue. Mm -hmm. um, my actual name I suppose the best way that I could put it is uh, oh, we'll <coughs> account, and then the skill sets that I possess are things that I have accrued uh, over time in certain positions and one, three, three, organizations that no longer exist. Uh, time is not kind to everything, and least of all to like, the union, I suppose. Like anyway, like I digress. Out. You're telling the right man. Well, I used to be with the union as well a long time ago. Oh, it's mm. like a thousand well, once they lost control, mm. look where we are now. Mm. You don't need to tell me that, that, that's for sure. 56 years of my life. You have to look out for each other, then. You know. I remember a very different time, you know, like when it was more, it was more than an even exchange. You know, the union told people what to do, you know, kept things in check. Although my family, mostly my father, was very, uh, <coughs> I was lucky when I was younger because he was an investor. With a lot of the uh, uh, more warfare-oriented corporations, and, uh, investing, that's good. So I was lucky. I was able to go to Thank a good you. school for some time. Thank you. Uh, but he was not happy mm -hmm. because I spent that time oh in Naval Academy. So he wanted me to go the route of the corporation instead because, you know, civilian sector work travels over easier than something militarily oriented. Long story short. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, I'm not entirely sure what you're looking for. I'm just going off of, uh, some recommendations that said I should speak to you, but... Well, I need someone who's good with numbers and books on one end, but I also need someone that's, a, you know, a bit more combat or, uh... I don't want to say combat, but more field-oriented. I think there's a variety of, uh, endeavors the bank needs. Well, nothing, you know, nothing, uh, complex or nefarious, but it's like, I think as an institution... We have a lot to lose here because we're playing by the books when um, we need to get things done. You know, like, God forbid I need to get down to the Undercity and I, I don't want to bump elbows with people that may not appreciate what we're doing here. Or if we need something, you know, if I may trust ask, relation building. Mr. Mayor, mm -hmm. what is it that you are doing here? What is your mission statement, so to speak, in layman's terms? So I understand. I want to improve life here at Cal's Row for everyone. Who's supporting you in that? Is it the corporations? You know what? In some cases, yes, but it's not only one. Hmm. You know, unfortunately, it's something that people misunderstand that it's like corpses of people. The corpse <coughs> gotta look out against each other too, you know. I see. Um, right now, what I've been doing, and let me tell you, I'm so tired, is talking to the business owners here, entrepreneurs around here, seeing if there's some room for growth, seeing if they have any ideas that's worth investing into. Mm -hmm. See if there's something sustainable we can achieve. Because right now, you know, Cal's Row is in very much need of not only what's sprucing up, but innovation. Well, I'm not going to lie to you, Mr. Mayor. I'm not a book man. I'm certainly not a desk man. I spent many years of my life in the Galactic Union on a naval vessel. And, uh, well. What brings you here? The road. Nothing really important. <clears throat> I left everything else behind. You expect to stay a long time? Depends. Depends on what I find here and what it is that I decide needs to be done. But, um, I don't see myself leaving in the near future, so. 
Okay, I have. It's good. We're gonna need a lot of jumping through hoops, but um, I think time is of the essence, and I think a little desperation is called for. I need you to kind of give me a clear example of your experience, your soft skills, what you're well catered to do. It seems like you know you're very, uh, like you said, you're very uh, active, and I, I don't want to say so much combat or anything, but you're very strategically. Uh, I mean, I'm sure you can hold your own in a fight as well. But I think yeah. House Row is in desperate need of systematic protection. It's a very, very dangerous line to walk. Some people might call that oppression, Mr. Mayor. Well, I mean, it's nothing I'm not going to tell you. I, you're right. I'm not going to blow smoke up your ass, but and I feel like... Of course, I'm know, not going to tell you how to do your job. I'm just telling you. Well, you know, I'm just... I'm just playing with ideas that have been marinating in my head for a while now. Then I'll um, come out in the open honestly, with it and just be very, very mm -hmm. blunt because you're being so with me. Okay. The only work that I've been able to find after Galactic Union fell was as a bounty hunter, and that's what I've done for the past few years. That is more than okay, and I feel like that's something. Uh, I can't say too much here, but I, I'd like to hear more about that in more private circumstances later. Well. I don't really but, uh, have anywhere else to go, so whenever you decide that mm -hmm. is the time best for you, then we can carry on this conversation. Give me a day, or a few days, because I understand it is a dangerous line, I understand it can be seen as systematic oppression, but not everyone here can pick up a weapon, not everyone here can fight. There's things we want to achieve, I want to create a school, and to keep these things well guarded and well nurtured, you know, we're going to need some sort of police force. You know. <sighs> well, what'd you do on the naval vessels? You seem <laughs> very distinguished. Must have more than a couple of medals. It sucks that you're here. What? How many horses did you fall off? All of them, to be completely honest. Though I would rather tell you this tale mm -hmm. in private, if you take my meaning. Understood. I think uh, I'm very interested in your past, since uh, you did mention the blessed union. Hmm. Wherever it is now. Whatever's now, whatever's left of it's nothing. A shell. Mm-hmm. But, but, uh... I'm sorry. You know? No, I mean, if you can tell me more about, uh... You know, like, it's 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 one thing to show a display of force. I feel like I need someone to control, someone to manage, someone to protect the city. Without going into too much detail, <clears throat> the entire... Of entirety of my life run after the Naval Academy. I spent time either helping with logistics on a singular vessel uh, as an ensign when I had first begun. And then we spent time in some of the outer rings putting down some mild civil uprisings um, using mm -hmm. non-lethal force, obviously. You can't just go in and glass a bloody continent. It'll be hell to pay for it. Um, Crawling violence with peaceful means is probably the most valuable skill I'm looking for for this. Well, it's not always possible, Mr. Mayor. And it's that's not. With Let a line, you, it's very great. My bank was seized a few nights ago, I know. I heard about that. A couple of people were talking about it in the bar. Either mm. way, um... Decade passed. And I wound up on, uh... <laughs> I was on the fast track to promotion. No thanks to my father, and he kept telling me I was wasting my time and I should come home and learn the ways of investment and put my faith in Kyote. Gosh, if you knew investments, this would have been a very different discussion, Locke. Let me tell you, I'm looking for someone to assist with me on investments and acquisition on that front alone to help judge and uh, classify and you know, look at businesses here and look. <laughs> help me identify a successful supply chain and growth. I'm not going to waste your mind with these words, but I was so excited when I, God bless your father. If, if you have any brothers, let me know because I am very desperately in need of someone who really understands investments and supply chain and acquisition. None left that I know of, <laughs> but um, no numbers are definitely not my game. Um, fast forward to the very end of the story. I wound up on the uh, GU Retribution. It was my own cruiser, and I had a small battle group under my command. And that was the height of, uh, of, well, what I used to do. 
Very shortly later, the Galactic Union collapsed, and none of that mattered. Mm -hmm. No, so. none of it mattered. Oh, gosh. I did not go into any more detail, <clears throat> and I apologize. No, I'm sure if there's any more, I think there's not. There's so much. In fact, it's so exciting to see someone that remembers what the Union used to be around here. There's a lot of things that I feel that could be learned from the past and things that we can maybe bring back one day. But uh, I am so honored to have met someone like you that served the same time I did. The Union was all I believed in. Even when my family failed me and chose a comfortable life with corporate money mm -hmm. and protecting what was once the Galactic Union. So That stings, Locke, because I myself am now working in a hedge fund, corporate-owned, you know, financialist house for myself. You know, I have to survive. Uh, Hello, my. Welcome to the bank. Um, but, uh... Oh. <laughs> well, it sounds like Miss Kita, but, um... Oh, Kiara. Sorry, if the conversation really took a sad them. turn. You really got me feeling nostalgic. Anyway. No, it's quite all right. I am... Mm -hmm. have neglected to speak to about anything like, like it for quite some time, so I suppose it's uh, <laughs> in a meeting. refreshing, in a moment, yeah. so to speak. Okay. It's good not to forget how you actually feel. No, how do you forget, really? So many people have, or even more sad is so, sorry he's so many people don't even know of it. You. They don't. They never even they got don't. to see the union in its height. No. <laughs> Life was something else, man. I, I think... The, under the Union, the injustices we saw here in Kalos Row. I, I'm not sure how much you've seen in your short time here. Not very much. It wouldn't I'm... even be in someone's imagination. Hmm. Well. All I can say is, Mr. Mayor, I have a set of skills. I'm willing to lend them to you. Um, for a time. For the length of time. Well, that forget I'm... me. Lend it to the city. I need to do some background checking, some vetting, of course, stuff, not too much about what you told me here, but just just like a simple surface level thing, if you are who you say you are, you know, check some of your, you know, your employment history, and I think you, you are more than qualified to lead a, you know, special force here in the city that will I would like to speak to you, things in order. speak to you before you do a background check. It's Yes, important. we can definitely, Cause we there can are definitely, records. uh, and you will find them. There are records. <clears throat> and I would like to say my bit beforehand, so to speak. Okay. Um, I think this is pretty pertinent. Why don't you come with me? We'll switch to a more privy location. Very well. <clears throat> because I, you know, for what I'm asking you for, Locke, I, I think we need uh, <clears throat> sooner than later. Well, right now we're going through a, a lot of remodeling, a lot of uh, injection of uh, some public funds into improving our infrastructure here. I'd like to get a, hopefully a place for you, you know, like a, a, a little, uh, a station of sorts, you know? Not yes. that we use that word anymore. <laughs> uh, uh, don't get scared with the, uh, the names. Ora, ora. Hey. Oh, forgive me, fear is not what I feel when I see these names. <clears throat> okay. Well, come on in. Absolutely. <clears throat> Pardon me. Why don't you take a seat on the, the couch over there? Certainly. <clears throat> What is it you want to tell me? Well, if you're going to be looking in my records, then I might as well be straightforward with you. Um, <laughs> it's not the smartest thing for me to do, because you'll forgive me, Mr. Mayor, I have no idea who you are or where your mind and heart lies anymore, though it does sound like you were a union man yourself and maybe still are. <laughs> we all know people in any part of the world can act, so you'll forgive me. <clears throat> but I will say mm -hmm. so anyway, I because, your caution. because I have nowhere else to go, and if this is my end, so be it. <clears throat> Just as the Galactic Union was falling and I was still aboard the Retribution, 
I still had my small battle group, which consisted of four ships, not including my... my ship. We received an order that was globally sent out to every operational fleet in the area. And it was as follows that the war was over and we were to stand down. You can imagine my shock that all of a sudden, after, after so long, after spending so much time uh, uh, just, I don't know, being a, 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 an outer pillar of the Union, it, it, I don't even want to call it indoctrination. It's something that you believe in when you've seen so much injustice from world to world. The Union was always there. Sure, it had its issues. Mr. Mayor? Oh, I'm yeah. sorry, am I interrupting? <clears throat> sorry, it's just my secretary. It's all right. Yeah, uh, Be Becky, by the way. Nice, nice to meet you, you Becky. Learned. Oh my god, it's actually crazy. It's <coughs> uh, super, super sensitive information. Like, uh, I can step out if you'd like. No, no, uh, it's fine. It's Give not us a moment. super relevant right now. Okay. Not with uh, it, then. <clears throat> is he cool? Like, on the level? Uh, I relate with this man a lot more than a lot of people here. He's come from the same place. Okay, so, you know, just see me in the eye. I think there might be a spy on us, huh? specifically. As in, like, us. being watched. Yeah. What? Why? Because I took a little stroll around town uh, on my totally mm -hmm. regulated lunch hour. I definitely wasn't yeah, sure. checking off dude. Yeah, definitely. But, you know, even if I was, I mean, I learned something important, so you couldn't really punish me for that, realistically. No, no. We'll talk after. Uh, but someone's been feeding uh, Jack information. Feeding Jack information. And how do you know this? I overheard them talking, because I was going to go hit on him again, because I want to do that uh, parental unit thing for Duncan, so he can end this rebellious phase, because honestly, he's being so much a bitch So much right for now. Jack. Absolutely if he's ridiculous. collecting the information against us, what is he doing with it? Yeah, like, what the fuck? I know, right? This probably goes back to that whole thing with him working with, a uh, Rook. I don't know what they want to find. I'm trying to run a legitimate business here. Well, I don't know what to tell so you. I want to improve Callus Row. Becky, this was good information. Please, uh, I don't know if you're going to find any more, more things about this, but, I mean, try to find out where the information's going. What was okay. said? I have some stuff that's, like, not related to, oh, specifically? Oh, well, they were talking about, like... Uh, what's his? I don't know his name. L no depth perception, lighthouse, bulbous eye, super ugly. Oh, yeah. I mean, he, I'm trying to help his business get off the ground. What's so nefarious about that? He brings a special skill set to Callus Row that no one else has. And they can improve to life here for everyone. That special skill set could uh, also be used to make lives for you know, corporate people way worse. <sighs> Becky, we can talk after. I think these guys, these conspiracy theorists, will find anything. Please, uh, leave me with Locke here. I hope so. Yeah, think about conspiracy theories. They're, uh, dangerous when they get an idea in their head, and they have guns, so. Ugh. So All right. was Locke. the, uh, nice to meet you, was, the, was the mono was well, gentleman in the discussion with them? <clears throat> no, I don't think he knows. Right, yeah, they you. might confront him. I don't know. If they kill him, like, leave whatever. Leave us in peace. Yeah. Got Hopefully it. don't kill him. Like. Oh. Shit, you see, I have to deal with a lot. Seems, seems like they like have hands full. Organized help here, and who blames them? They've never had it. <sighs> well, I mean, I'm no expert in it. I'm not going to tell you I lived a hard life. I was very lucky, but even I have enough insight to understand that when you see these massive entities and all these corporations that show what a singular life can be within the family unit, and they, they show these... Mm -hmm. uh, blessed existences, but none of these people are a part of it. Of course, they're going to feel resentment. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Honestly, Locke, I mean, it was sudden for everyone. I feel I can't relate one-to-one -one with you because you were on the front lines. But, um, somewhere doing combat, like, I remember a huge galactic cruiser just blocking out the sun one day, and all of a sudden, everything I was working towards gone was sure. Well, before you praise me, let me finish my story, I suppose. <clears throat> mm -hmm. <clears throat> but as, as I was saying, to cut to the chase and not fill your ears with wind, 
we all got this uh, global order to stand down, and we I remember as it came through, we all looked at each other in disbelief because that was the one thing that the Galactic Union always swore that we would not do. We may lose ground, and we may lose ships and battles, but it would be to the last man. That was what they always pushed. That was the rhetoric because you fight to defend what's behind you, which is our people, our families, mm -hmm. and the Union itself. This felt like a betrayal. And uh, for the first time in my life, I had disobeyed orders. I severed communications, and I took my battle group and led it upon the USS... Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, the GU uh, Retribution. And uh, we headed deep into Sunidi space. I had hoped that if we hit one of their largest warp gates there, perhaps it would buy the GU time to reconsider this surrender if they could no longer rely on these warp gates to move their ships and men. The corporations might have been immobilized long enough for the GU to mount an offensive. Mm -hmm. Of course, this was without any kind of authorization. Very long story short, I lost almost every ship that I had and the retribution itself was mangled. And we managed to destroy the warp gate, but in my hubris, I was completely wrong, and it was used purely for civilians. And all the ships that were... All the ships that were within its gate, all the ships traveling through it, they all were destroyed. Okay. With that, I leapt to... A limped away on the retribution. We had to abandon it. And, uh, well. The name and the record that you'll be looking for is Gregor Brunswick. I was a commander mm -hmm. upon the GU retribution. I'm wanted by the GU for war crimes. And, of course, by the corporations for <laughs> working for the GU. So... There's my story, and you may do with it as you will. I mean, it was you that took down that warp gate, huh? It's not really something to be proud of. It was about. used against the Union, you know? I know. I know it very well. God, it I really do. made things a lot harder. But, um... I mean, who am I to judge? You know... Seems like you judge yourself the hardest. <coughs> You're gonna see a lot of criminals, or I don't want to say criminals, but a lot of people who have been thrown off their pads of life. Um, the project I was working on, unfortunately, may have been one of the many straws that broke the camel's back with the uh, gentlemen's agreements that were in place with the corpse and the union at the time. Uh, we thought it was more. Uh, there's less at stake. There's more of them looking at each other, but they seem to have made a. They seem to have colluded with one another beneath our uh, eyes. And when time came to pass certain legislations and decisions, and and our planning was thrown out the window, all of a sudden the, the cars were voting in unison. They were procuring the same assets, and uh, you know uh, we all make mistakes. Look, I, I'm not going to tell you that. Uh, what you did was okay. It obviously wasn't. Um, all I know is that you're here now. And I think Kalos Rojas has use for someone with your skill sets. I don't know how many you killed, but I hope you can take a day in time to make up for that. I don't know how you quantify a life saved versus a life lost, but I think there's much good you have left to contribute to everyone. Well... <clears throat> I can't say there's anything that I feel that I could do that would um, <clears throat> erase any of that. And I've had plenty of time to think it over. I suppose if you're going to turn me in, now would be the time. <clears throat> to who? Whoever it is that a mayor of Kalisro would report to, I guess. There's a lot of people who'd want you, Locke. I think, you know, it's funny that we're talking here, but, um, what you said will stay with me in confidence. I will 
I mean, we're just gonna have to see what you can do then, because, uh, I don't know if you saw what you got from Becky's thing, but... It seems like I you have, have quite a... an issue on your hands and a lot of civil disobedience. But then again, I have to... It's severely outnumbered. I have to ask here. you, Mr. Mayor. And I'm sure you understand where my question's coming from. If you want the people to be pacified, obviously as peaceful as possible, who are you helping? I know that you say you want to help Callus Row, and I know that you say this is for the people that live here. But their anger, from what I have been told, what I've seen and understood, is towards the corporations. I guess I'm just trying to understand. So. I'm trying to understand what is your angle. And of course, My I have no just... right to ask. <laughs> no, I mean, it's. I don't know how you're gonna take it, but it should be easy to understand. Like resent. I'm coming in. Don't yes, say Becky. Anything sensitive. Okay. Uh, there's a Mr. Nash looking for a lock here. We'll be down very shortly. To you, I all right. All right. Nash is a I'll great guy. Tell him we'll be right down. Give him a seat. Get him a drink or something. I didn't realize how well kept you were. Okay, sure. Um. Listen. It took a long time getting used to this, you know. I truly believe in what the Union stood for. But looking at Kalisra, looking at her situation, it's one thing to thumb your nose and poke fun or admonish something, Locke, but right now we are still relying on the infrastructures they have in place to keep water running to keep the lights on to keep people fed they're doing a lot of bad here too i just think we've we've had a very and this is why i need to i feel like maybe there's something we can work on here and help systemize like protection for everyone we have a huge vigilante problem on our hands these guys will go guns and firing on anyone that comes in and you know what I don't cry when corporate blood gets shed on the streets, okay? When corpse come by. But I'm, I can promise you one thing, there's a lot more corp people coming and they're gonna send more and more and more. And we're not, slowly our weapons are gonna fail us, slowly acid control is gonna be taken away from us. Before you know it, they may even take control of some, you know, properties by like, you know, important things like water mains and power grids. And they'll gentrify, exclude, uh, just disassociate and they'll they'll you know they'll take over cal's rope for their own assets i am using corporate money to inject you know to improve cal's rope that's the truth so, and it's not a clean it's not a clean deal where it's like ha ah, this money is now you know scot free but you know this money is intelligently gathered collected and put in dividends you know from different parties with colliding interests you know you know, people right now, you know, they're talking about having someone wants to, you know, Atlantis wants advertising rights, you know, to like the arena, you know, great traffic. You were there. Um, well, great I, place, I didn't put product my head in there, but I heard about it. Well, you know, it's, it's our number one, you know, uh, attraction really for now. I, you know, I we have a lot of stores with a lot of dreams and a lot of goals. What I want to do is help develop Cal's Row, and I am using money that's been given to us yeah but i i feel like we need to improve solidify and embol you know, embolden but also rally and uh fortify callus Road what's your end goal say anything i need to know mr mayor Cal's Road should be a better place a better place sure but it can't be a better place if it has a corporate shadow over it sooner or later that is the bridge that'll be crossed. Even if you can pacify these people down there, and even if they say, all right, for now, we put down our arms, we listen to what the mayor has to say, we game the game, eventually people are going to want change. Eventually people are going to call on the That's promise true. of a better callous row, to which many of them out there, just from a few hours of me listening to what people have to say out there, would be no corporations. Well, you know what? In the time we've been here after the quarantine, the city's been in lockdown three times and occupied by force once. <sighs> you know, we need food to keep stomachs full. We need the light to keep people 
running, you know, like, it's not as simple as saying we hate corpse, you know, right now, those corpse are supplying and keeping the place running. I'd like Kalos Row. Of course, everyone wants autonomy, right? I feel like I've had this talk before with certain people, and I'm sure, you know, like, I want to minimize corp involvement. That's the truth, you know. But we're just a town, you know. I for don't, now. I don't see us for well. That's that's. I'm happy you have that mindset for now, and you know what a town needs right now is improvement. I want to put a school in here. I want to, you know, really systemize protection for people. I really want to fix the transit system. You know, there's a lot I want to do, and we need money for those things. But more so than this money, it gives people purpose, you know. Money's one thing, we're going to have to hire people to, like, you know. For example, the waste tunnel, I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, yes, I have. And it's something I feel particularly attached to, you know. It's something, you know, I ha we ha the Mars people planted a bomb. Not something planted per se, but they left one here, and, you know. And it, it, with seconds to spare, I, I threw it down the uh, the entrance. Would I? And people people hate me for that, Locke. But you know what? I, should I have it blow up in the city center? I'd send it right back up to one of their bloody ships. If Kalistro had more uh, things in terms of technology, maybe that might be possible. But it wasn't. You know, Kalos Row is really a pig with makeup on right now. I understand. And You're between a rock and a hard place. I'm not, I'm, I'm not telling you that, you know, <clears throat> we're doing something and the people are going to appreciate it and that, you know, it's going to be fulfilling from the gates. I'm not telling you this guarantees an end scenario with our corporations, you know. I'm just saying we have a, right now, in the time, day by day, in a nutshell, we have a se severe and serious vigilante problem. And regardless of their intentions, it's really, it's gotten Kalos in more trouble than anything. I promise you, the occupation and one of the last two lockdowns would not have happened had they not finally taken down a drone in advance. <sighs> Multiple corporations are eyeing Kalos and its assets. They want control. And they're, they're, they're taking an adversive stance with one another. It's really, it's not as simple as megacorps versus us. It's a huge system. There's a lot to factor, and I think there's a way where we can play ourselves out of this in a way where our assets and our interests are protected, but we're able to benefit from from the unfortunate positive effects from, you know, concerning with uh, mega corporations. Then I'll be as honest with you as possible. <clears throat> I will not under any circumstances, work alongside a corporate entity. I will not. I cannot. But I can offer this. We have none here to work with. <sighs> Anyone here planted in the row, uh, lock? You know, they're they're here for their own interest. I don't ask. I'm sure you've seen, you know, even in, I was, I bought a drink for the gentleman K. He's with Talaris. I don't know what he's here for. Was that the gentleman not gonna that looked work like he had a city. scanner over his eye? Yeah. Hmm. Something really off-putting about him. He stunk. It's not, it's not something that I, you know, I feel like I'm comfortable saying in place, but I really feel choked because I understand corp approval's at an all-time low, but... You have to appease both I, the know, people I, and the corporations to keep the city from burning, in layman's terms. Well, appease is one way, but I mean, <coughs> just a little bit of fair play at the corpse, and they leave you alone. You know, right now we've had unhealthy interactions with the Mars Corporation, with vested interest on behalf of Talaris, because of vigilantism, because of the our do it ourself attitude, and the fact that, you know, these people think we can just cut ties with the corporations. I promise you, the moment we just say no to these people, as now, I understand what the corpse mean to you. And I promise you, the moment we 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 take that moral high ground saying, we don't need you, the air filters will turn off. The power will go out. Water will stop running. People will suffer. A man can't, can't eat on his morals. I need to keep people alive. And I think we owe it to ourselves to really see this through. Because not a lot of people remember what the Union was like. If you present me with opportunities... 
to hurt these corporations when I can. Within That's the, why we need to talk about your bounty hunter goal. Within the confines of subterfuge, because obviously if anything like this is to be combated, it's not going to be with standing armies and ships. Well, the Union doesn't no, have that. No, it's going to be smart, decisive well. moves. If that's your Listen. line of thinking, Mr. Mayor, truly and honestly, and you want to hurt these corps while building up Callus Row, then I'm your man. I have something covert being planned on behalf of the Union, Locke. I'll be honest <coughs> with you. Uh, and I'm being very lenient with this information, but, but you know... That situation calls for it, you know, like right now I'm garnering support. I'm trying to build I don't want to say a team of sorts, but we're really trying to gain and garner allies that believe in the same thing here. Like I I, I was raised and chased the same ideals, you know. I still believe those ideals from the Union. Let's do I. You know. And even though we're sitting in an Atlantis office, you know, the one place I could find employment. I'm no good at finding more work than anyone else. I'm a, I'm a nerd. I'm a book bookworm. But I have something in the works, and I feel like I need not only do I need you to be taken care of here in Callus Row, I need your you know, your your partnership, your agreement, your your abilities. Something big's gonna happen soon on behalf of the Union, and I I think it will hopefully present more opportunities and different paths for Callus Row. If it's for the Union, that's not even a question for me. Then it's for the Union, please. I haven't forgotten. 100%. If what you say is true, I'll help you to the best of my ability. I swear. I'll give you more information as the time comes regarding the plans for the Union. Something, believe it or not, is in the works. Something that will hopefully, even on ground level here, increase Union presence on our streets. In an elegant manner, the Union world, as of now, is no longer in a position to be like, hey, you know, really puff their chest out in front of the corpse. But it, it should increase Union uh, support and, uh, um, how do you say, uh, presence here and that's something maybe we can grow together on uh, but that's something in the coming days if it's just you and me is not gonna cut it I was shocked to see uh, a brother of the Union here I had no intention of revealing good. it but it seems you've wormed it out of me and I'm not dead yet so that's a good sign no, no, we have so much to do before either of us consider taking a break from this life. I think we've, uh, talked our tongues tired, Locke. Yes, I don't um, suppose there's any more that can be said. At least for now. I think, uh, <clears throat> we've gone a little too romantic with the, our ideals, and we definitely were a bit too open with the words, but I think I can... I'm at peace with what you have here, and I think there is utility for someone such as yourself here. I appreciate those words. Though I don't mean if to sound you... selfish or mm -hmm. self-centered, but I will have to try and find myself arrangements if I'm to be of any use to you. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, right now, I think... I wonder if we can even draw, you know, tangential skills from, like, your, your strategy and planning, maybe... I feel like I see, I see no one else better qualified than you to help lead peacekeeping endeavors here in Callus Row. It's more about human rights management. It's more about knowing how to, like, de-escalate dangerous situations with minimal force possible. Right. You know, it's about understanding the people here, you know. Well, I've managed several hundred have a meeting with some investors on the retribution. And, of course, it's not including I'm sure you can manage the station, then. I could. I For believe now. that. As long as I have minimal staff and some supplies and guidelines, it could be maintained. It's not impossible. It could be done. Okay. That sounds promising. Uh, it's Once again, it's going to be an uphill battle. I, you know, Right now, I really <clears throat> want to assess and understand the vigilante situation. Uh-huh. Consider yourself on payroll. Um, 
for now, if you can really, I, I don't know if you consider yourself much of a sleuth or uh, <laughs> a detective of sorts. But the amount I'd of like time, to, while, you know, while we get things in place. With the amount of time I've had to spend evading the corpse and finding out the names and people that want me dead, information gathering is something that I'm quite adept at, and it seems like you need that. It's, it's an isolated <coughs> feeling being here. People don't... I can't just tell people what we're doing, and there's too much I feel that I have to hide from everyone. I can understand that. But You're in a building, isolated from the other people who see you as a possible enemy inside of a building with your actual enemies. I feel for you. They call me shill. They call me these nasty things. They, uh, you know, my life has been, I won't say under threat, but it's it's been on shaky ground a couple times with these people. Um, I am, I am, I do consort with the mega corpse and the money that I am getting to improve our town will be from a variety of these mega corpse. That's the truth. Hmm. But right now, minimizing their influence and maximizing on the injection of money into our town to help improve itself, I think is a worthwhile endeavor. On the surface level, you know, there's things like I spoke about. Um, there's many more things I want to accomplish on behalf of the Union while I'm here. I haven't had clear communications with them for some time, but I'd like to believe that they're still alive. Well, I will tell you this. That's one of the few things that uh, I have going for me. I have many, many old connections. Um, friends that used to be in the Galactic Union, some in the Navy, some not. All that work within these corporations now. And while they are not loyal to the cause, they do not care for the Galactic Union, they care for themselves and their own lives. They mm. do respect me enough to do me a favor. But once that is done, it's done. So, perhaps okay. that will be of use in the near future. Other than that, the GU probably has no love for me. And the corporations, well, I'm sure after I've told you what I told you, <laughs> they have no I love I think for the me GU either. will... Will, um, will welcome you back if we succeed with what we're trying to do here. Then so it be it. It sounds a little too rose-tinted, but... I, I think what you did was out of loyalty. Uh... Even though it was a, an act of treason, but right now we are. So, if you know even a whisper, even a sound of any of our brothers out there, please get in touch with them. Please get them in touch with me. We need them here. We need to work together. There's a lot that needs to be done on behalf of I'm you. I'm choosing to believe in you, Mr. Mir. I really am. I know fully well that and I could wind up at the end of some guns as soon as I leave the building, but I don't believe you're that kind of man. You've been too sincere. With what I... support? Hopefully you'll be holding the gun soon. <laughs> Whatever I hear, be it of anyone from the Union or any whispers of these vigilantes you speak of and what perhaps they might be planning, I'll make sure to let you know. Try to get friendly with the people in Kalisra as well. Nothing underhanded, nothing felicitous, but I don't have a handle on these people and they're just every action, every word that comes out of my mouth breeds doubt and untrust with these people. I understand. I uh, I really need a guy on the ground who can help me piece things together. I really feel like we need to understand the animal before we look at its needs and take care of it. Then that is what I shall do. That is what I shall do. The talk of the Union stay with us. I think uh, I, I was a bit no too much uh, glee struck in my office. Yes. Not even Becky knows. I have no intention of bringing anything up like that to anyone else around me. <clears throat> okay. But if you hear anything, please. We need more brothers now more than ever. And that is the plan. I have to say, I was... Uh, feeling dead inside, coming here and... Assuming I'd just find more bounty hunter work, but for it to have the kind of cause it does... I feel more alive now than I have in years. Me too, in some ways. Hmm. And look, there'll be plenty of bounties to collect, believe me. Um, 
I just think it's about making the right kills at the right time. It's not by shooting everyone that walks in here. No. I, uh, I'm fully aware of that, at least. Um, I'm going to have to try and find myself some sort of accommodation at some point. Um, where are you staying right now? You <laughs> consider yourself on payroll. I will be, uh, I don't, you know, we're brothers of anything, but you are employed from this point on. Um, we'll negotiate something a little more fair-weathered once we have an official job title, an official place at work. But I want to give you enough funds to eat, stay sheltered. Keep yourself occupied here I'm in Kalash Row while too. we plan. Is that something to your liking, to your tastes? Do you choose to stay there? Uh, to be honest, there's too many people that come and go. I don't want to be mm. anywhere fancy. It's never been my thing. And I have enemies. If I can stay mm. on the street Humble level, to stay. be seen with the people, among the people, make friends with them, I think that would be mm -hmm. best. Okay. Uh, do uh, tough it out at the hotel on another night or two. I will of course. prioritize getting you a place to stay. I appreciate it. A lot that. of people moved in. I will prioritize. All right. Then I suppose that's everything. We kept your friend Nash waiting, please. <laughs> uh, Nash is a good soul. He's a bit airy, but I'm sure he's all right. I feel bad. We said five minutes. Well... To be fair, I waited for him for about 40 minutes outside of a VR booth, whatever those things are. Oh, yeah, those things. they a gimmick. But, um, hey, even Stevens, then, as they used to say. I'm sorry for taking up so much of your time. This was, this was, an, this was very important. It was, it didn't <clears throat> feel like work at all. That's a good thing, then. Is my darn teller here? Oh, she went missing. Should I open an account? Is that something I should take care of? Mmm. Yeah, let's do one really quick. Let's put it under, uh... Unfortunately, it's really hard for, uh... Well, under traditional means, it's very hard for, uh... Someone to, uh open one without like an authentic presence and a history but Locke will do I'll authorize it thank you do you have an ID on hand or do you need one made I certainly have mine yes can I see it of course in second place ooh your real name's on the card too hmm. I play it close to the chest careful who you show that to we, uh, quick, uh, it won't matter, really, but, um, the proprietor of the hotel is, uh, ex Soniti. That matters to you. He's been, uh, obsolete technology, but I don't know how, uh, they handle, um... I assume you're speaking of you Guidebot? <clears throat> yes. Yes, he got a nice good look at my card and stopped and said... Oh, and continued on with the tour. Let's get you out of the hotel as soon as possible, then. Mm -hmm. uh, a few people of interest, of course, Guybon is one of them, but, you know, keep an eye for the gentleman named Rook, the owner of the Grindstone. Yes, I've heard I'm very interested in his tidings him. and dealings. Yeah, unfortunately, I feel like if there's anyone that leads this notion of the system will never help us, I think it's him. I've seen his violent participation in some of the occupations here. But, um... Uh, um... Okay, well... You're good. Let me see your card one more time. Certainly. I don't know what your finances are like right now, since you did say you left everything behind. I wired 10000 to you to start. I appreciate Just that. Just to take care of yourself. It was more than enough. Okay. I'm not a man who uh, needs much food mm -hmm. and a roof. Hello? Mm hmm Yeah. Hi, Mr. Mayor. So, um, I'm... I gathered some information. You totally asked me to do. Left the bank unmanned. Sorry about that. Also, you have several well, meetings. I mean, Sorry to interrupt. Oh, jeez. But, uh, this yeah, is your Nash new, uh, so coworker. Kara. 
lot. Oh, hey. Nice to Looking meet good. you. Now, he he might uh, he might be a higher up on the organization chart than you soon enough. For now, or a grassroots operation is just us three. So. Right. You know. Of course, we're like partners or whatever. No, Becky. But uh, yeah. yeah we talked so about the civilization thing we have. You can't keep putting me up on a yeah, yeah. Let's just. Yeah, 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 please. No pedestals. The only wheelchairs for you, Becky. What did you find out? Uh, I actually have something to do with that. Yeah, so... Spying on Jack. Want to do, mm. and, um... So, since we're all co-workers now, I think you can share some secrets. Turns out he's working with, uh, Talus and the bulbous lighthouse gentleman that you talked to earlier. He's totally taking you for a ride, by the way, because they were talking about, uh, functioning hard light weaponry, and I do believe, uh... Talis said, and I quote, I would love to walk into the bank with a hard light sword and slit their throats. Uh, those two throats. Specifically you and I. Alright. As in, like, kill, kill plus. And, you know, they seemed, everyone seemed pretty on board and excited about it, and they're also plotting to break my legs to keep me in the bank, so I can't keep running around. Again. Literally again. Did catch you listening? No, they didn't. <clears throat> Although, there was some weird cat thing on the roof that was looking right at me. I turned around and it was like right over me. I don't think it's related to them, though. I've never seen it around before. Mm -hmm. I'm a little, you know, super a little bit freaked out. They're plotting some serious stuff, as in like weapons manufacturing, the hard light weaponry that guy was talking about, and uh, mm -hmm. I'm a little worried about it. Also, uh, I learned Talus uh, owes his life to that male woman, Ori. So, you know, if he comes around here and tries to break my legs, if we could do something about that, I mean, there might be some leverage there to prevent him from killing us. She's as That'd mean cool. as they come. I don't see us working yeah. with her. I'm a little no, more I didn't mean, I mean, than like anything to hear her. that our, our mono eyed friend was uh, blowing all that smoke up my ass, you know? It seemed yeah, like he really wanted to start business that. around him. He just wanted to get to know you. They said, oh, yeah, we should keep the mayor alive. He's still useful for us. And then they were like, oh, but what about Becky? He's like, I want to put a bullet in her head. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with that? Right, Becky, no more of this. You hear anything else? Um, what else did they say? They wanna, uh, they, they don't like that you're working with the, the new people. They have a bad feeling about them. They think you guys are, like, dangerous or something. Um, maybe, I don't know. Um, yeah. We're gonna have to deal with this when we can. This really breaks my spirit. I feel like I thought I had a really productive day getting the people. You said we have yeah, meetings? Up... Oh, yes, you have one with Nash and then one with Kiara. Okay. Kiara scheduled it first, out? but... She's like a dirty slummer, so I put her behind the other guy. Okay, but the other guy's in the residence. We don't know what it is. Uh, well, anyways, what, uh, oh, he's what a else did you figure out? Um, okay. I guess there were a few things I learned. What else did I have? I had like five things. Well, you know, besides the imminent murder plot to kill us and the fact that they think you're working with corporations with your corporate chill, and uh, mm -hmm. what else? Was Rook involved in these meetings? Almost, uh, he wasn't there, but he would almost certainly be there I bet. Oh, also, one more thing. Talis said he was putting together a team of highly specialized people to do something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully something away from our bank. No, All right, that's enough. Uh... exactly to do with our bank. What? I mean, I, they're, they want to they wanna fuck up the Talaras people who live here, and they also really don't like you. They're going to try to make deals with you soon, like take out loans and stuff for equipment. To make hard light weapons, to then kill us with them. Hmm. Alright, thank you, Becky. You're welcome. Let's, Becky, uh. You're on the job, huh? First day and all this stuff. <laughs> yeah, oof. Yes. Um... Well, colorful I'm at really best. I'm worried I'm gonna get my leg broken again. I don't want it to happen. I'm sorry, Locke. I feel like I, uh. I didn't want you to th really feel how unsupported we are so soon, but the no, situation's if, a little dire. Huh? If anything, it's good insight. Gives me my bearings. Mm -hmm. Nothing new. Mm -hmm. yeah, be careful. These can. people are literally monsters. They're murderers, fiends, thieves. They're horrible slummers. Disgusting. And they smell. <laughs> Dreadful. Mm -hmm. Very. You're going to have to keep up to me. <clears throat> now I'm back at Right. Sorry. Uh, let's close up the bank for now. I think uh, okay. I will try to do some personal out calls if I can for uh, Miss Kita, but uh, 
I suppose I'll go look Becky for Nash. Young. Yeah, right. please, oh, um, uh, welcome to Kalos Row. <laughs> yes, welcome. Good yes. to have you on board. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Nash was interested in a security position, and so was that large uh, 3% body fat gentleman, Giovanni. So if you're putting together some kind of security force, just going to say they yeah, that's enough of that might definitely here. be interested. All right, of course. Of course. Just a little nervous. <clears throat> murderer oh wait no you're somebody else <laughs> My bad. it's all right it's been called worse She just hugged me. That no one ever hugs me. Right? Hey, that's not very nice. Uh, sure. I know it's you. Hey, we need to be here. We need to be here. Check out for for the body. Of course, the car's gonna yep, be. Yep, I figured. Yep. Yeah. Damn it. All right. Yeah. I guess that was add that to the conversation I have. Oh, I know. I remember the last time I was here. You didn't tell me how strong it was until I was done with the bottle. <laughs> I mean, that was the other one, though. How's it going, gentlemen? Hello there. Hello there, man. Hello? You want uh, I, I'll probably come back later for food. I heard of my oh, friend... My uh, what happened? Example, like, everything all went like, crazy. I'm Who? <laughs> 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 <Some? laughs> Sorry. Oh, my. Yeah, that's <laughs> what, what actually you. happened. <laughs> Okay, you know, I'm just going to be careful with you. I'm gonna... If he was a catapult, then talk to them. I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to... No, it's not your fault. He's a fast man. <laughs> sorry. Try. Sorry, please. That was quite all I'm right. I'm going to be fast too. Take a seat. Take yeah. a seat. Take a seat. Then. Of course. Thank Relax. you. Um, a friend of mine had come by. His name was uh, Nash, I believe. Cowboy hat and all that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I use descriptions. Uh, I'm not saying... Uh, I'm bad with uh, names, but uh, all you humans look more or less the same to me. But if you see the description, enough. how they look, you know, big, uh, I can tell them by them. Yeah, I, big metal yes. arm and a cowboy hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, called it the clam. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a big old yeah, clam. It's, it's yeah, huge. It's like three fingers, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, like, that's the I mean, one. It's not that huge. It's not that huge. <laughs> so, well, well, yeah. well, 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 it's true. I bragging about how big you're right, there you are. Ah, I was just asking where you were. Yeah, we're I wasn't looking all over the one in that booth down there. No, <laughs> no, not me. No, I was uh, getting an earful about being an accountant and all that jazz. Not really my thing. Books and desks, I can't. Oh, so that long, long meeting was for nothing? Pretty much. <laughs> More or less. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Oh, he's looking for a different kind of type. That's what I heard the other day. I didn't know I was looking for a job. I'll need to find a job soon. Oh, no, I'm not worried about I mean, that. We want less, just so you know. I mean, you can always start a new business. There's plenty of stores here. 
I I'm actually learned sure something about her that I need to talk to you about you, later. Uh, so, get some uh, uh, cabo, it was and, a for you. I didn't realize I'd get information just drinking. And you look like you're a one. You look like an old man. I don't have the time, but... No more the grunt work type of guy. Where you heading? Or you can just... Relax. But if you were interested, I'd help, help you out with whatever you need. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Shop just stuff. Just sleepers sitting in one spot, I don't know. Just, I get edgy. I don't I mean, know. Me, me, I mean, people have shops, but they don't sit in them. You know, uh, they use provider services. Most people here who have shops, like, I, I'm, I'm me and the grand store are, uh, like, probably the exception. Most of us have open and people come here. But most other stores, they, they go search for customers. They and they have most of the tools and you know the, the things they need for the for the business at the place. Yeah. But you know the most of the mechanics they have the store over there and then they go, you know, look for work. You know, without any, any, anything people need. That's how, how they do. And most of you are, are, are new here, so you, I mean, if you feel that you have some skills that are uh, val valuable to, valuable to people, right. you know, it's uh, it's always a good way to start a new business. Like, I mean, we did lose what is it, half the people a couple. A couple Weeks ago, uh, where did they the, go? Uh, after the, we don't know. It, it, it was uh, the, the, the corpse said it was an outbreak. Mm. Uh, I'm not that good with Can explaining. Can I get a drink, the, coffee? The, yeah. Can you just help me explain the the, the shutdown, the, the outbreak, whatever the, when the uh, everything was in lockdown? No, 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 no. The lockdown. The lockdown happened, you know, the two weeks ago. The you know, lockdown. Whatever. Where where all those bots came through? No, 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 like, uh, remember, like, uh, I, I'm sure you were here, like, uh, you know, a month, month, a month plus ago, when they, sh when they shut down the streets for, like, a month straight. Oh, the quarantine. Yeah, the quarantine, yeah, yeah, what was called, you know. What was that about? Mm -hmm. And what do you say? What do you say, at least half people oh, disappeared? Yeah. Like, uh, it was, like, uh... It yeah, they the, it big... down the whole city. I couldn't get at my shop for weeks. And then yeah, they open I, I mean, up and tell us quarantine clears, but half the... Yeah. Houses are empty. What? Yeah, and I'm I, I, I'm saying if you I'm saying so there's plenty of, there's plenty of uh, business opportunities that I could not fill. Mm -hmm. I mean I'm the only restaurant here, you know. Wait, they, none and, of and them ever came of back. Of we don't know. They said that it was some we... kind of disease that killed off part of the population, but I, I don't buy that. Who's that? that sounds maybe suspicious. Well, the corporation. Then, uh, hey, the corporation. Yeah. Said after that, <sighs> after that, uh. There was some robots that came through a raid. That was recently yeah. because the, the, a yeah. couple weeks ago we went through another corporate lockdown. It was a week ago. Some... Well, yeah, actually, it was, well, actually, was, it was two, recent. Two days ago? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ago, There's been a couple of days where we got some yeah, corporate yeah. action in here. It's hard to keep it. At, yeah. Yeah, about two days ago. So they just yeah, lock you a... down? You can't do anything? Locked down the entire city, told us to stay inside, sent I robots mean, through to sweep the entire I mean, place. I mean, they tried. Are I mean, they looking the, for the, something? During the, during the quarantine, you know, people stay in because no one wanted to get sick. But during this lockdown, uh, people seemed uh, feisty. Uh, we don't want no corpse here taking, mm -hmm. uh, looking look, 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 look us down for another time, so... Some people here fought Resentment back and for the corporations understandably so. High. Yeah, yeah, but but as you see, like this, this, I'm I'm saying, if you want to open a shop or you start a business, uh, there's plenty of of uh, old uh, like these lo lo lockdown uh, old shops yeah. and, and apartments stuff mm. to, to use. So you could open up a PR. Yeah. Yeah. To to <laughs> Everybody says that. Yeah. Is that the trench yeah. gun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do have your skills, then, don't you? Ah, want info? Get info? I suppose so, that is a thing. Well... I'll keep it in mind. I don't know. That, Maybe. That's some kind of thought. Quarantine is a bit concerning. Perhaps so. Though I'm not really keen on all the things I'm hearing that have happened in California before we arrived. I mean, you want to leave, but it's costly. But do you think about making a shop? You'll remember, it I was like five weeks ago me. now, but right don't after the worry. quarantine was lifted, this you entire place figure out what you'd open. of chemicals. And Is then it? maybe you can yeah. hire a friend here. <laughs> it's off, uh, <laughs> awfully a good idea. It's something I'll Seen give some Rook? thought. No. I think, I think he might have turned in. Didn't he? I think he was here earlier now. And that's cool. See that? Mm-hmm. Do what? See you back here talking to you. Yeah. I'll be back. Right, take your time. To get to, uh, well, get info on Talus. 
<sighs> should you run any food, by the way? Uh, um, if, you're, if you're first time here, yeah, yeah, it's half off, so, you know, I, I would I, mean, sure, I recommend right. the spicy noodles, they're pretty good. Becky's but if you have anything else, it goes to fancy. Whatever anything, you would say is thing. your best, you're most proud of, I'll give it a shot. Yeah. I'll, I'll give you spicy noodles, and, and you get the... Uh, 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 a commercial drink of mushroom light is included in our meals. So I'll, 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 I'll get it for you. No you know what? Mark, I think I'm gonna head over to the hotel. Take a rest for the night. Hmm? Alright, well. It was a pleasure, and thank you what again you for the fucking link? beer. <laughs> I needed that. To the mayor. <laughs> the pleasure is all mine, Mark. Get some rest. And then you get some, uh, some mushroom tomorrow. light. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Take care, Carl. Yes, yes, see you. Oh my goodness. This mushroom light is the, the third with the streets recently. It's uh, not that strong. We have diluted it quite a bit. It's only 3%. But, uh, it's, it gives you a nice warm feeling inside, for sure, for sure. Absolutely. Well, I... You can pay over here. Just, yes, that's course. my card. You know. yeah. I have mine over here. What is it? The yeah, nice. Talking. Hey, please put your hand on it. Yeah, uh, oh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hi. How are you doing there? Good. Uh, can I get a noodle taco? Mmm. You should really. I'm not saying the bread is moldy, but the bread is moldy. Oh. Uh, just give me something that'll give, like, a lot of energy. I got someone real hungry. Uh, sorry about that. I was feeling a little bit woozy all of a sudden. I had to run out. Okay, that works. Yeah, it's, it's all right. You're doing okay? Right. Might, it must be the fumes around you. Quite the appetite, don't you? <laughs> I yeah, think it was actually, the fact my, that I one drank of my dancers like worked herself too hard and she collapsed out there. So, it's, like, get all. I'm gonna give her some food and try to get her out. I like can woozy. You know I'm not feeling anything. For the night. And I'm telling you what, yeah. it is an absolute pleasure of mine to meet you. It was really good to meet you too. Hopefully you come by more. So you like it? That'd be nice oh. to get to know you. It's a pleasant little bird. It tastes great. I'll buy it by is. that. I do like it. And you yeah. said this is diluted as well. Let's see. So really nice to meet you more. Six times diluted. Oh. If you if you, if you want to, I can give you a try of the uh, <laughs> shot of the, well. the roof stuff if you want to see how it is. Oh no no. Yes, this is perfect. <laughs> I'd like to try Thank it you, stronger because the one you gave me, I didn't even really oh. feel anything. Oh. Yeah, yeah yeah. So like. I, I'm, I'm just saying for first time customers, I can give you the shot for free if you just want to try, see if it's, it, it tickles your fancy. I'm always, you know, willing to people to try my stuff. What's you know? it supposed to do? <laughs> it's supposed to, if you give it a real good click and, you know, shove it down all the way, it's supposed to make you feel warm, you know, warm up your insides, really, and maybe, maybe make you see a bit, you know, a bit more, uh, more color in the world, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I'll make you two shots. Sounds yeah. like the time I ate those weird looking mushrooms yeah. in the forest. I mean, I mean, they are based on mushrooms, you know, after all. Here you go. Oh, oh, I drink. Give it down a try. the rabbit hole, I suppose. I mean, I'm a, I'm a I trust man. Becky. Yeah. I can give anything a shot once. Cheers, Nash, cheers. to a new cheers. life, cheers. Eh? To a new life. Welcome to, <laughs> welcome to Kelly's Road. Yeah. Ah! Oh. I didn't. It tastes fantastic, but it's a lot stronger than the bottle. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh, uh, I think I need to stand up. <laughs> and, I, and I'll tell you what, that thing came in bottles bigger than that before. You gotta be kidding me, man. <laughs> I mean, the first time we blew it, we didn't know what strength it was, so we just gave it to people raw. I'm not saying it was a interesting night, but. <laughs> and, uh, you know, a lot of things happen. Some people regret it, some people enjoy it. You, you never know. That's just life sometimes here in California. Uh, it feels different from Steam Pipe. You and your yeah, Steam Pipe. Yeah, for sure. Pi steam, steam Pipe's more, you know, it's more, you know, more, more, not, more bland, you know. Like, it's nice, but it's, you know, it's Steam, you know. Don't you call you know. Steam Pipe bland. Yeah. No, 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 no. Have you have you tried steam pot with mushrooms? Right. It's a good spice. You know, I always need now more you're spice. Speaking my language, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I need yeah. more, more. Where can I get steam pot mushroom? Mm, I mean, uh, I can give you a taste. Uh, I have something over there. Let me show you. I'm, I'm a. Uh... Oh, almost knocked my drink. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So, so, you didn't uh... do that. Yeah. See, 
if you have if you have if you have a bit more money, uh, you, you can you can buy this and put it in in the in your Steam pad. But just give it a lick for now and see how you feel. A lick. Yeah, just give it a lick. Give it a click. Oh, everything's all glowy, like. Yeah, yeah. Okay, how much is it? Yeah. A thousand. It only lasts like a day oh, or so, so uh, it, 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 it it doesn't uh, hold too well. So you got you gotta you gotta you gotta work through it. Oh, I got you. It's one of those. I feel like yeah. I ate a couple of those when I was a kid, and I got lost out in the woods. Yeah, they were yeah, smaller, yeah. but they glowed all blue like that. Yeah, yeah. These ones are colored by, by myself. Uh, I usually grow them in my body, you know, to give them the right potency. These are uh, for you? in the wild. Yeah, yeah, you look at me. I carry my stuff around this. These, these right here are the you can eat those. before they get big. <laughs> That's about as organic yeah, I mean, as it gets. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, That's these ones are hard to grow, and they're not that strong. Uh, do you want to give it a try? Just give it a look. Oh, no, no, no. No, thank you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, I insist. Mm. Try it. It's custom. It's good. It's good. If you wouldn't say you feel? I couldn't say no. Yeah. Yeah. It makes everything all bright. And... Oh. Why are the walls breathing? I mean, it happens sometimes, you know. <sighs> are we inside of something that's. No. Oh, wait. One minute. Like lungs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah. find a place to stay. <sighs> that was probably a bad idea. Have you tried the, the motel? <sighs> oh, that's fair. I can just go the to the hotel. Are, uh, I've got they, plenty. I mean, the the, the rooms are dirt cheap. Yeah, it, it shouldn't be a problem. <sighs> I think I might come customer. back for that mushroom later. Yeah, yeah. As long as you have cash, yeah, I'm always willing to sell. Yeah. Oh, no. I don't really know too much about how much cash I have. I never really spend it. I do jobs for food most of the time. My yeah, money's yeah, just yeah. been accumulating over my mercenary years. I figured yeah, I'd yeah. need I it mean, someday. I mean, I mean, if you have enough money, you can go to the bank when they're open and try to get an apartment. It's a lot nicer than, than the motel. The motel is, I'll tell you, it's not good. It's not good. Uh, hey, you could definitely uh, go talk to, uh, uh, forget the, forget the woman's know. name. And she helped me with my account, so you should probably do the same. Uh, Becky, yeah, I started up an account. I, I put my 5,000 credits in there, but yeah. I don't know. I probably I mean, need a lot more than I mean, that to survive you, out here. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, for sure, for sure. But, uh, I mean, if you have 5,000 credits, that should be enough to get you in a, at least a rent an apartment, for sure, for sure. Uh, you know, if you keep doing the uh, jobs every here and there, you know. An apartment is a lot nicer than the motel. I mean, the motel is quite sticky, I, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Mm, it is. I have to say, those noodles are I mean, really good. Yeah. I was I was yeah, a little unsure yeah, yeah. at first. It was good. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah. No problem. First <sighs> business with you. Yeah. With everybody, you in Cal's Row, yeah, with everybody you know. saying, oh, Callus Row, it's going to be terrible, and I've only met I mean, good people so far. I'm saying, yeah, except for that one bit. asshole. Yeah, you, always, you, always, you always try to do the best uh, we've got, you know what I'm saying? You know. Absolutely. That seems like a perfectly fine place. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate your hospitality. Yeah. No problem, no problem. Thanks again, my friend. Welcome to Kelsville. I appreciate it. Let's get you over yeah. to... uh we'll definitely be coming around here again soon. Didn't, yeah. um... See you around, see you around. Take care. Didn't, uh, didn't yeah. the... The motel. Mayor want to speak to you? Or you want to speak to him? Uh, I already had a chat with the mayor. He said he'd talk to me tomorrow, get an interview going, but... Everybody's pretty much gone for the night, it seems like. Huh? Our, our good buddy went to his apartment for the night. Oh, yes, Everybody Warren. Seems to be ramping. So, Talk I mean, I don't know what we should do. Mm, could, Warren's gone. We could just go around town, see what's still going around. See who else we can meet, you know? There's nothing yeah, wrong. Maybe some people are still busy. No harm in that. Uh, hello again, Nash. Nash, right? Na no, that's Nash. Oh, 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 he's, oh hello. <laughs> oh. Actually, I was going to ask what your name was. Uh, I haven't seen you around before. Oh, 
Well, my name's Locke. Nice to meet you. Locke. Nice to meet you as well. Pleasure is all um, mine. I'm Copernicus Fox. Copernicus. It's quite a name. It's nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank you. You can call me Cap if you want. Cap it is, then. So it's easier for people to remember. I, um... <laughs> Nash! I'm sorry, the lads, he's a good man, but he's a little airheaded. Eh. It's alright. Uh, it's, it's, it seems oh. to be a thing in the room. <sighs> but, uh, yes, I, I believe I've seen you around a couple of times. I'm assuming from the outfit you work in the clinic? Yes, I, I'm one of the doctors at the clinic. Oh, I see, I see. Well, I, I kind of make it a thing to know everyone's name in the row, so when they come in, I... I be a little Better. more personable. Well, hopefully there'll never be any reason for us to do business. <laughs> hopefully. I'd like to remain healthy. It's always good to hope. I didn't catch your name. Uh, yeah. oh, my name's Locke. It's nice to meet you. Locke? Uh, name's Nash. Name? Nice, nice to meet nice. you. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Here you go. Take me. Here you go. Do hey. the best I can. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a big hand. It's a big hand. Uh, I'll, see you go, uh, I'll see you guys around. Yeah. Take care. I see you around. Have a good night. Have a good night. Yeah. You too. Yeah, I believe that doctor was looking for you. <coughs> the doctor? Yeah, she came over calling your name and then got sidetracked speaking to me. Oh, where's the, uh, where's the doctor at? Right here, this man. It's public knowledge, but so there you go. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Confidentiality. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. He was let out yesterday. <coughs> Here's, Were you uh, looking Nash. for me, Doctor? Oh, no, no, it was more like I was going to ask him to introduce you. <laughs> oh, oh, so, <laughs> apologies. <laughs> well, it's all right, you, uh, it's quite fine. Oh, you're my good buddy, Locke. All right. Yes, we, we have <laughs> met him. Yeah. We have met. All right, let's uh, leave the doctor to his nice, work. Have a nice night. Take care, sir. Uh, have you seen a man with a big sword, by the way? A big sword. A really big sword really and a little big, brain big. capsule thing? Yeah, the brain capsule thing is what he's looking for. Oh. Um, I'm... I can't mm. say well, I know. I mean, I saw him a while ago, but it's been it's been a bit. That, he seemed like a nice right. fellow. He's a very nice guy. I'm I'm looking I'm looking for him right now. Thank you. Mm hmm You're welcome, I hope you find him. Have it. a nice night. You too. You too. Hmm. Do you speak to anybody about that arm of yours? I've talked to a few people. I'd like to talk to Grease Palms. I think she might uh, have a job or something for me. And oh. also, yeah, 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 yeah. might provide some help if I ever get this damaged. Well, I don't know anything about augmentations, but that does look a little clunkier than the ones I see around. Perhaps at some point you could get it upgraded. Uh, I don't know about an upgrade. I mean, sentimental attempts. Maybe repairs. Uh, yeah, this arm means a lot. I wouldn't really want to lose it. Fair enough. I had the money to upgrade a long time ago. Probably would have done it then. <laughs> See if we can't go find Grease Palm. Certainly. I think she's the herb. She worked down here. <laughs> Forgive me, I... Apparently, there's this... Hmm? Oh, you're fine, you're fine. Apparently, uh, she runs a little clinic that's down here, the non-corporate one. Oh, yes. Uh, don't worry, we're not going to the magic area. Hmm. I know how much you hate it. Not a fact. By the way, why do you, uh, despise magic so much? Uh, what is there to like about it? You can't control it. You get results that you never intended. It kills. Granted, that can be said about many other things, but at least that's because of human error. Magic is something that just shouldn't be tampered with. In the very least, it should wait until we understand it more. But you have people here who try to harness something that they should never be using. I don't know. It's... I agree. Fuck magic. Well, see, there you go. I mean, if she agrees, but... See, the thing is, I've experienced <clears throat> lots of good magic and lots of bad magic. I mean, I pretend to be a little bit 
stupid whenever it comes up, but I know more than I should about it. And, uh, uh let's just say my run-ins with corporations, I've seen them try and use magic for some things that, uh, would make any man's stomach turn. Well, trust me. I know about how I no much potential it has to... I've been... <laughs> We're gonna get along great. I don't mind all, I don't mind some corporations, but in general, there's a few that I have bad history with. Kyote and Sanidi. I think, uh, I think Talaris is the one that I have the most problems with. I'm no fan of them either, but that's because they try to harness something that they should not touch. And, if you've heard the same stories I have, they don't care who they experiment on. Uh, they sure don't. I've seen that experimentation firsthand. Not only that, but, uh, hopefully, the two Talaris agents that are here, I don't necessarily want them finding out who I am. Well, just keep your head low, I suppose. I try to stay away from them. Howdy. I mind if I come in? I didn't interrupt, did I? How may we help you? I wanted to follow up about some possible work that Reese Thomas was talking about. What'd you say to me? Earlier you were talking about some possible work. You want me to work for you? No, I, I'd like to work for you. I, I don't Any have no money to give you. I've done it all? Well, I mean, I don't know who you are. Oh, we met earlier. I, met you before. I ain't never met you before. I just woke up. You doing all right, Grease Bomb? Why is everybody. Yeah. I think. I don't know. Something about chemicals. Chemicals, huh? Uh, I think Who I might you? as well just leave you alone, let you rest. Well, my name's Nash. We did meet earlier, but I'm sure, little nap, you probably just forgot. I'm not a very memorable face. <laughs> my arm hurts. Sorry. Um. You're fine. Oh. I don't know. I who hope you you're are. okay. Who's that? Oh, hello. I'm uh, just... This is another newcomer to Callus. <coughs> just a friend of Nash's. Figured I'd take the walk with him. I won't bother either of you or waste your time. Just keeping him company. Hey, you got a robot arm? At least if you want, like, some service for that, or you need some help. Well, Lana, you should go to her. She's really good. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Uh... Well, I hope you start feeling better. I'm sorry you feel so woozy from the looks of it. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, you're fine. I mean, if you need any help, you let me know. I'm I sorry for barging in mean. when you... I'll be all right. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a wonderful day. Let's go, Law. Yep. <coughs> well, then. That was abnormal. That's what happens when you abuse drugs. Didn't, didn't remember me at all. Well. I, that, was, that wasn't like any drugs I've ever known. She, uh. No? Something about chemicals, and then just didn't remember a thing. Well, 
I assumed that meant something uh, that she might have took that she shouldn't have. I don't know. No um, business of mine. <clears throat> she didn't seem the type. I don't know. It's almost as if she didn't, uh, she wasn't aware of whatever, whatever just did that to her. It's entirely possible. I'm probably just overthinking things. Well, I hope I am. That didn't work out for you, unfortunately. <clears throat> well, I guess you gotta keep going. Greener pastures. Well, if you forgive me for asking, what were you talking to the mayor about? Oh, we were gonna talk to the mayor about maybe a bodyguard type thing. I talked to uh, Talis. He said to be a street samurai, maybe I should just get a little experience as a bodyguard. Well, uh, I would wait until your meeting. Oh, definitely. Uh, I, I feel like I probably got a good job set up. I just wanted to do some odd jobs around on the side. Fair enough. But nobody really needs anything right now, it feels like. <clears throat> no, it seems like a lot of things are settled, uh, especially after the recent troubles with the raids and quarantines. It doesn't seem like anybody's really looking for much of anything. Everyone's still recovering. Yeah, I think I'll give it time. Just worry about uh, what I've already got set up. Mm-hmm. Hotel's closed. <laughs> that it is. I don't know where we're supposed to go. Well, we can go to the grindstone. If you give me one second, I just have to make a call. Ah, uh, sure. Go ahead. All right. I think I'll make a call on that other machine for a minute. All right. I'll be uh, waiting for you well, outside. I'll, I'll, meet, I'll meet you outside the grindstone. All right. Sounds good. I mean, the speed are going to be coming out in 30 minutes, so... Since you're new, wrap up whatever minutes. you're doing. Careful. Mm, yes. All those sweepos, I saw one with a gun once. It was like taped onto it. <laughs> I'm serious. I believe you. The hotel <laughs> seems to be closed. Oh, I'll open it. I got the key from that stupid little robot. You didn't give you the key? I appreciate it. Oh, He'll give you the key no, code. I'll rather than usually get one. That's my bad. I uh, probably should have told him to do it. I Nothing suppose we should turn trouble. in for the night. Oh, he's fine. It's not your fault. You're right. It isn't yeah, my fault. It's that not little the rest of the Hold on. Of course, you'd never so do anything bad. You <coughs> seem like such a sweet shit. girl. I'm the sweetest. And I only do good things. You can ask Locke. We work together now. Oh, that's Co-workers. true. There. I thought you weren't going to take it. Earlier. We'll talk to you later. Point at me, you ugly tax. <laughs> oh, huh? Yeah? You don't quite like sense, do you? No, they... They're awful. They're just killing machines waiting to happen. All they do is replace good thinking people. And they can be reprogrammed, so it's not even like they're trustworthy. Well, I don't know how I feel about sense, but... I've met a few good ones, and, uh... I feel like if they got reprogrammed, then it's not really them anymore now, is it? I agree. And it's the fact that that can happen to them, which makes them so incredibly dangerous. It's you magic. think you know one of them, and you just don't. Magic on the other hand. Humans can be brainwashed, trash. too. I agree. A magic? Brain... <laughs> oh, unpredictable. Magic can fry can a human's people. brain and reprogram them, too. Right? It's awful. People it's shouldn't sense... even know about that stuff. But... Synths are just not people in their own right i guess want to cut this short but i have to turn in gotta get up early in the morning so becky was an absolute look pleasure look forward to working with you definitely i'm so excited to work with you assuming my legs don't get broken but i'll still be working with you why would your legs get broken it's happened four times people don't four like times. <laughs> slummers are violent psychopaths they're thieves cowards murderers don't trust them i can't see why nobody like you you seem very lovely Thanks. I am. Well, I I'm going tell. to turn in. Take Hi. care, everyone. Good night. Good night, Locke. Take Have care. I'll see you tomorrow, Locke.
I should probably go to bed too. We don't want to get too <coughs> many sleepers. What's a shrew, really? by the way? <laughs> What's. Not holding this elevator forever. Yeah. Hey, sorry about. It's quite all right. Let's pick our room. Oh, hey, look! Here's another one of those little robots. Yes, I heard there were a bunch of those in town not too long ago. Oh. Oh. How you don't want that? That's been Come spilled on. all over. <sighs> I'm going with lucky number six. Huh, you're right across from me. I'm in three. Well, Nash. I guess we're both going to turn in. Oh, well, actually, <clears throat> since it doesn't look like anybody's around, um, I would definitely wait and speak to the mayor. He definitely is looking for um, some discreet jobs, and use a mercenary, from what he said, would be very helpful. So. I think it's probably a good bet. All right, then. Well, use that information as you see fit, and I will see you on the morrow. Good night, my friend. See you tomorrow, Take brother. Take care.